get in touch with you. Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The manager is here. Yep, excitement, adventure, just another day in the life of a manager. Up to Daisy! It's a short slide from manager to, well, not manager. This is a job for... A manager. This is a job for a manager. A manager is always prepared. It's uh it's quoting the uh the Sneeko thing. <clears throat> That's it's quoting that. Ouch. Logan Paul is my savior. I just realized on Discord it says streaming I'm trans and I so, yeah, not a good look there. Anyway. Hello, Lucy. I hope you are having a great day. And also, Lena and iPi. Hope you're also having a great day. I submitted a spliced movie run at 3 a.m. Cops got called. Nearly died. Welcome. Then stop fucking playing it then, Lena. Fucking hell, bro. Um, movie is not the trans agenda. The world record holder is not even trans. The sec- the second best player is not trans. Like a boss. It's a short slide from manager to hey, fuck you, right? I know who I am. I know what I am. Even in the corners. I bet you've never even done a fucking cheap set run, Lucy, you fucking liar. Hello, Peppa. How are you doing today? Thank you for the good luck. I appreciate it. Manager coming through. This is gonna be my life. I'm gonna be streaming five years from now, and you two are gonna be in my chat five years from now. Tell me that I'm still an egg after five fucking years. It'll literally be 2028. The fucking world record in this category will be a 56. And you'll still be telling me that I'm a goddamn egg. While I'm in the middle of doing, uh, depression, moon jump, uh, pixel perfect, frame perfect, trick that saves one second. And then I'll do, uh, BBBH wrong warp, uh, and it's like three, uh, one frames in a row, and it saves half a second. <laughs> You should take pride in not playing cheap sin. The category sucks. Liberal Foundation. 2016 Foundation was not a liberal. 
happiness has landed. The, 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 what do they call them? The alphabet mob got to me. Jumping, jumper, jumper, um, not a fucking egg die. I, I don't have a plan to have like a beard. I don't think it would suit me. And also it'd be annoying and get in the way a lot. Not wanting a beard is an egg moment. Well, less- because I want less hair. Apparently I'm an egg because I have more hair. So which one is he then? Okay, which one is it then, bro? Thirty pound metal rod. How much did it cost? See, that was funny because Pride is not next month. It is in a day, right? Wait, how many days are in May? So it's not in a month. It is in a day. Forehead. Big bootied. You you really Whatever the most like horrible form of execution is. Need, need to give you that. <laughs> 20, 20 pound gay bastion skin. Why is that? Why is that funny? That's actually not even funny, bro. Just that's like he's just rainbow colored. He, they, they would so make it make that twenty quid as well. Companies be like, eh, if we have to pretend to be nice to the gays, we might as well get twenty quid out of it. How's it going, Wolf? Thank you for the good luck, I appreciate it. Cover you in honey. Alright, Winnie the Boo, bro. I'm Spongebob and I'm Spongebob. Spongebob is my savior. Spongebob is my favorite. I want to watch Spongebob. I want to watch a movie. Anyway, hello, Sky. How are you doing on this fantastic... Tuesday. Isn't it Tuesday? Probably. Let's have a quick look. It most certainly is Tuesday. I knew it was either Tuesday or Wednesday. I, I couldn't remember which one. <laughs> Dutch movie 100% damage was on, on PS2 as well. With like the fucking like slowest PS2 ever. Barely works. Like, super scratch disc. Controller that where, like, all the buttons are really mushy and disgusting. And has stick drift. Like a boss. It is not Friday. I would know if it's Friday, because then Saturday would be Chippy Saturday. I'd be fucking... St I'd be very happy. Not Chippy Saturday tomorrow. I'm not getting covered in oil. That being said, if anybody wants to be covered in oil and do a twerk off, and I'm the judge, you know, I wouldn't I wouldn't necessarily say no. Why can't we have normal days? Like, um... Boy Tummy Tuesday, and, um, Pound Your Boy Wife at Work Day, and, um, um, 
I can't think of anything else funny. I'm sorry I failed you all. Every Friday in, in the Jeff chat, Casey posts, uh... Umo Friday. I should, I should post one that's just like Femboy Friday. It's, it's just like really gay. Like a mouse. You ever just have, like, men kissing on your hard drive? It's like a joke, you know? Who can relate to this? I thought you had, uh, like, third or fourth place. Do you have world record? Better call purple. My name is not Paul. If it was Paul, I'd be in Weatherspoons right now, downing some pints. And I'd be, like, balding. I'd be watching the footy. With, with my mates Greg and, uh... Uh... Jack. Higher number equals better run. This is the liberal agenda. <laughs> Fucking love that emote. Never gets old. So true. Why are you cheating in your in your run? It is not really a speed run because you're cheating and skipping parts of the game. Are you really playing the game at that point? I didn't think so. I found one. Wow! Wow! I just skipped the whole. Wow! I skipped the whole level. Wow! I'm so bad at the game that I need to cheat to, uh, to make it to the end of the level. I'm so bad, can't do it legit. It's not like the trick took, like, 6,000 attempts to get consistent or anything. I'm the dirty cheater, bro. How's it going, Peter Griffin? Shouldn't you be working at the, uh, uh, the, the, the Portucket Brewery, Brev? Sorry, Peter Pan. I didn't. Re I thought you were the fat guy, but now I realize you're a twink. Peter Pan is such a twink. He's like the twinkiest twink. Like. Thank you very much, Lena. I still always wonder about that tweet. That they're being serious or not. Vehicle level 100% category. Fuck you. Bitches be like, M or sliding and driving tokens. People have joked about that in the past, but it wasn't even theoretically possible before because of Mindy Skip not existing. Now it is theoretically possible, but why the fuck would you do that? I guess it may it like, allow you to get better at the sliding and driving, but like, bruh. Oh, 
The fuck are you gonna speed running guitar hero? You're a hero and you have a guitar. Can't do much else with that. Thirty minutes. I would imagine it's something to do with skipping songs or whatever. Oh my god, that game literally has Mindy Skip, Rev. It literally has Mindy Skip. That sounds annoying. Because then you're just doing the same song over and over again. Isn't this my first attempt of the day? I think it might be. Yeah. That's fucked up, bro. I was about to compare it to uh, uh, movie categories that are around two hours long, but none of them are, like, at roughly the two-hour mark. Wow, okay. I don't even know why that failed. I guess not enough speed. I can't be asked to reset. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, I spent like an hour and a half looking at uh, driving levels for like invisible walls and shit we might be able to get over. And I think there's one in sandwich driving that has potential, and if it worked, it'd probably save like 20 seconds. So, I'm hope uh, I showed it to Latte, and he said he was gonna have a look at it at some point. So, um, might have potentially ruined sandwich driving, we have yet to see. I might be able to get up the uh, image, actually, if I send Latte. Bro? Like, really? I... Bro. Oh, I forgot to do something. I forgot to, uh... What did I forget to do? I forgot what I forgot to do. Oh yeah, I meant to uh, weaken my noise suppressor. I felt like it was too strong, so I wanted to weaken it a little bit. But I forgot to do that. I ate my food, I watched the rest of the video that I was watching, and then I got up here and I started streaming. Movie any percent, we grind to 99 tokens. What would be the point, sir? So much destruction. Yeah, like, like... That's what the point of the mask is, you know? This game is so fucking stupid.
bro. This is what I was talking about, by the way. This is why I showed Latte. Howdy, Zulkus. Um, I hope you are also doing well. I'm doing okay, thanks. Pretty... Uh, my days are always basically the same when I start streaming. The only thing is that I was grinding Quick Chris for a while because it wasn't working. And then I manifested the frustration of that trick into thinking about movie. And I was thinking about how much I hate, I hate old tokens. And that was basically my day. Clicks what? What? Speedrun what? It's a short slide from manager to, well, not manager. That that message feels very like 2016, like ironic humor just spamming emotes and shit. Anyway, thank you for the good luck. Well, Sky, I was hoping that, like, um, if it is possible, then a like, consistent setup could be found. It could be done on, uh, Microsoft Xbox. But maybe not. Try not to think about movie for 10 seconds challenge, actually, though. After the stream yesterday, I tested something in Neptune. Didn't save or lose anything. Then, um, I spent an hour and a half looking for, like, exploits, and you're just looking in IP to, like, try and see some sort of, like, you know. And I actually found something kind of interesting. I'm pretty sure you can clip from Chocolate Creek to the ice cream room in Depression. And I was like, oh, maybe you could, like, go around or whatever and, like, you know. But then I realized, like, what would be the point of that. But it, it, I mean, it was kind of cool. So, like, the end of the creek area is almost touching the fucking ice cream room that we never go into, and I think that's pretty interesting. Dancing Cat 33. The 33rd of his kind. Oh yeah, depression's really small. I was also looking at just like, just to see if like, you know, anything is linked to anything else to see if like we can exploit something. What I was hoping for was to maybe trick the game. I was hoping that the game would just think like, once you've passed like X number of rings, you get tokens. So I was thinking like, oh, what if there's a way for the game to think that you've passed like 10 rings when you've only passed one and stuff like that. But I couldn't really think of anything logical uh, that we could do to exploit the level. But yeah, most of my- most of what I was looking for was just, like, stuff in sliding and driving levels. Uh, driving levels, actually, not sliding levels. I've already looked pretty thoroughly at Gask and Rock Slide. There's just, like, nothing there. I'm pretty confident that with our new, uh, like, tech and stuff, that Rock Slide will never have, like, a new time save again. Welcome. Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The manager is here. D is it literally like specifically when you touch the that very specific ring, or is it just a counter thing? Like after you've passed like fifty rings, you get a token on what? Also, hello, Stash. How are you and Joel 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 doing today? Cleanliness is next to managerliness. So, most likely, then. Uh. 
bro. I didn't forget anyone, Peter. I'm a good boy. I counted all those. I counted them all up, bro. How dare you? How dare you, indeed? Hey. I'm doing all right, thanks. Oh, speaking of the ring challenge, you know what, what I found that was actually quite interesting? There is a ring, so all the rings count up. Right, but one of them is called Ring 16B. The 16 and 16B. And you know what the even weirder thing is? 16B is before 16. Like, 16 is like just uh, at the very end of like the tunnel thing. And then 16B... Is or, I mean, 16B is the one at the very end of the tunnel, and then 16 is the one right after it. And so they have 16 and 16B, which is strange. But yeah, anyway, my, my hope was that maybe we could exploit the game in a way where we pass a ring and, he, and it thinks that we pass through more rings than we actually have. But if it literally is just passing the very last ring and then, like, you've done it, congrats. Then there's nothing we can do. Unless we can push that ring to, like, spawn in earlier and, like, get dragged into a different part of the level that's closer to us. And then that could end the level, uh, end the challenge. But that is such a fucking stretch. We're more likely to... Find things like Hans Disable before that. Oh yeah, um, yeah, I'm aware, Jake. Um... I... Don't know why, because most of it is speedrun stuff, I think. And for some reason, those uh, hovers are still in the game, I believe. I do not know why they're there. Welcome. I thought I was in depression for some reason. Never why are you crushing my dreams, Sky? Why do you hate me? Why would they make it an option? Slide from manager to, well, not manager. Mean like the devs? Boing. Why? Why would they? That that is so fucking weird. Like genuinely, what is the point of that? Hey. It's not even like you can really use it to your advantage because like you wouldn't want to play on these most recent versions because they patch stuff. I don't see the point. Also, yeah, um, Speed Space Runner, I saw that, it pissed me off. I can't stand Speed Space Run, or Speed Space Running, or Speed Space Runner. If there's a fucking space in between, I want to shoot myself instantly. I just can't, it's so bad. It's like the most, like, cringe thing that shouldn't be cringe that I can think of. Every fucking company does it, they a bunch of normies. They don't get my hashtag dank memes. So they're normies.
That isn't much better. <laughs> Alright, too flat. Looking good. I'm so poggers, bro. SpongeBob. British households. I will check the British household in a minute. You know, you know what little pet peeve I have, right? I don't like when speedrunners, like in their Twitter bio or whatever, they'll put like speed and then in quotes like runner or like anything like that, because then it's just like, bro, shut up. There are people who make their personality be like, like their whole thing. Like, I'm a speedrunner, but I'm fucking bad. I love self-deprecation. Like, it's just kind of fucking annoying. I'm not gonna lie. That. What is that, Pepper? What is that? What is that? That just reminds me, because it kind of looks like a burn. It, it reminds me of when I was younger, I nearly accidentally burned the house down. Like a mouse. So, the context is that... The stove was on, and my mom was, like, in the toilet or whatever. And basically, we had Jeho Jehovah's Witnesses, like, put a, a leaflet through the door or whatever. And it was on the counter next to the stove. I picked it up, and I was, like, you know, I was in my edgy phase, so I hated religion or whatever. And I was just like, this is cringe, lol. And I just kind of tossed it, like, tossed it away without thinking about it. Um, and then my, when my mom got out of the toilet, she saw it like a, like, a big fire, kind of spreading on the walls. And if my mom was, was doing something else, like taking in the washing or whatever, Welcome. then, uh, then the whole house could have burned down quite realistically. And you could blame it on me for not checking. However, I prefer to blame it on religion, because if we didn't get the lethal, I wouldn't have tossed it, and then, yeah, so... The reason why my house nearly burnt down is because of religion, there you go. I don't even remember, like, like what religion it was uh, uh, on the thing. I mean, everybody around you, well, everybody around here with, like, religious faith is, like, Christian, so probably just, you know... Dude, I saw a fucking, uh, Christian leaflet thing in McDonald's when me and Jam were in England. It was actually just sitting there next to the condiments. I don't think I need to hear the word of Jesus Christ while I'm eating a fucking Big Mac. I don't really think that's necessary. Legit me, but I don't say it like a boss. I love like a boss. I don't love arson. I love ass, though. To make that joke, I had to be British for a second. There's this Twitter account called Fesshole, and it's people doing anonymous confessions. And you can tell that, like, basically every single post on there is done by a British person because of the way that, like, the spelling and everything is. You just 
very easily. It just every single time is like so obvious that it's from a British person. Thank you. Thank you. Oh yeah, I shilled it yesterday, but I'm gonna shill it again today. I did a practice commentary, no polish storage run. Got a 102.29, it's uploaded to Pipple SSC, go watch it. In your spare time. Good background noise, and it allows you to learn more about the game, which I'm sure you're all eager to know more about the game. And you just love the sound of my voice so much. Bob. Oh, I didn't realize I got a 210. I suck. Maybe if I wasn't a dirty cheater, I could play close to my golds. She doesn't have a prosper or whatever, you know? Then again, I guess it doesn't matter, like, what segment the depression was. If I miss Sandwich Out of Bounds... Very fast. That actually was really fast. Quite happy with the results though. I like how sandwich driving is just basically like nothing for fucking like a minute fifty. <laughs> Who the fuck would want to double Manly's category? Bro. Just have fucking macho upgrades at that point. A macho moves. <laughs> Which actually reminds me, I was re-listening to my, uh... Movie category tier list video, and I th I was listening back to it because I wa I, I didn't actually get far enough in. But I ranked No Major Glitches, All Extras, uh, in B. But then I remembered, literally today, because I don't think I remember this while making the video. Like, a big, a big positive of No Major Glitches is BBBH Backwards. If you grab in the extras, you, you can't do BBBH Backwards. So, I'm pretty sure... Um... 
Yeah, so you don't even get to do, like, the big, nice, cool thing about that category, so... Bruh. Well, you could, Sky. It wouldn't be useful in Hundo, at least, because we need the extras uh, from BBVH, and we need the tokens because we don't do Rubbit of 2 anymore uh, until late game. So at the very least, it wouldn't benefit Hundo, so you'd just be finding it for a category that no one plays. Because it wouldn't even benefit Hundo anymore. What do you mean, manlies? I don't know why, Pi. I really should have been. Anyway, I don't know what you mean by you mean manlies, but... No, like, in, in Hondo, we actually cannot do BBBH uh, late because we need it early because we don't do rub it up 2. Yeah, well... No, we don't need the manlies. We literally need the extras for Mag. But also, we need the tokens. So, regardless, we need the tokens. Well, yeah, but again, tokens anyway, so it doesn't matter. Because then we get an extra two tokens early, and we need that because we skip rub it up two. Um, so we're down three tokens, we made back two of them, and then we only have barely have enough to get by. Which means that finding something like that would only benefit... Then how would you get 20 tokens for now, though, man? We en we I'm pretty sure we enter now, though, man, with 20. Pretty sure. I think it's just the no the no pull storage tokens. Except, um, uh, add an extra two sandwich driving tokens, but remove one... Re oh, wait, no, so you get 21. There's no good place to warp to weenie. So, yeah, no, there's no, there's no reason to ever look for a guitar storage route for that level anymore, because you'll never be fast again. I found one last... I mean, I guess, but who gives a fuck about the ILs for real, bruv? Some of my records are, th are from th were from three years ago on PAL 360, and they were... Fucking terrible. I beat my BBBH 100% IL by over a minute. I do want to make a video on uh, analyzing the platforming ILs, but I still haven't uh, tackled Nathal and Man ILs yet, so I'd want to do that first. That's pretty good enough.
Well, I mean, if you want to, that'd be kind of cool, but yeah. Generally, when it comes to strat hunting, your best bet is trying to find stuff either to do with extras or, like, for full game runs or uh, stuff with, like, no pull storage. That's how you get results the fastest, but yeah. Battle has enough time save as is. I think they can chill for a little bit. I think there's a game that needs uh, needs more time save right about now. In my opinion. That that community that the community size could drop like 80% and it's and the game would somehow still never die, whereas like this one is at risk, so this one definitely needs attention. You need breath. No, not movie PC. I don't give a fuck about movie PC. What the hell's that reaction for? That is true. Why did Jam send me three messages like a boss? So it turns out that my mum is on Google Maps. That is strange. Dude, you know what would be insane is if we could get some sort of like Spongebob like VMS shit. Skip like all of BBBH Spongebob. But that's like never happening. Uh, Demindy, you fucking bitch. I hate women. I'm trans and I'm gay. Logan Paul is my savior. Well, yeah, that that was that was also my other thought, which would probably be possible if we could just spawn in as SpongeBob. We might be able to VMS to the thingy anyway. We probably have enough height with Plank, but oh, but we need the token for now to men. Mm, like a bouch, like a bouch, like a bouch. Anyway, if, yeah, if you could just transform back to SpongeBob, so maybe some token animation storage thing. Like, um, being able to, like, you know how in battle you can, like, you can skip an animation, but only if you just uh, do a bunch of one frames after drowning or whatever the fuck. Imagine something like that. Except it be, because it's a movie, it'll, it'll somehow be a two frame. <laughs>
Alright, can I please get this? I want to finish a, a run, please. Alright, that works for me, bro. I'm trans and I'm gay. Fourteen. This guy's a fucking bozo. <laughs> eh, save time still. Loading block VMS. Literally never happening, Briv. Maybe in a thousand years when we're all fucking dead. Not in a um not while we're still in the community though, I can't imagine. And I know I've said on stream before that like you probably should refrain from saying the things will never happen. And yeah, I still went on to say that 101 guess would never happen, and then it happened. But... I mean, I've looked at Industrial Park, I've looked at, you know... Game's really running out of shit, without, like, brand new tech or whatever. Obviously, like, I, I can't imagine I'd find some tech. I've never found, like, tech before. That was really close. I, I nearly... I nearly fucked up the inputs just then. Felt me, uh... My, my, my thumb. Nearly slipped off the back button. You can do a VMS as Patrick, but, um. Can't can use it for anything. We have no useful applications. You can't even use it to, like, do floating block skip or something with VMS. You you just barely don't have the distance to make it to the Navomen floating block pad. Otherwise, you could do it as a pseudo floating block skip. Bruh. And I forgot to nitro because I'm gay. Brands and Logan pulled my savior. Five nitros, fucking hell. Don't need that many. Yeah, it is yeah, it isn't just that, but that is like a big issue, yeah. There's just too many slow tokens in early games, so like we're pretty restricted on all tokens we can actually collect for Nabo Men and SCDA and stuff. But that isn't the only issue. 
the lack of, uh, we would be able to do CCA, but we can't because there's no, like, counter or anything that we can abuse. You know, th there's probably a lot of stuff that we could do in some sort of hub world, but we can't because we have no hub world. Ons disable, no. Cruise boosting, no. Like... VMS, no. <laughs> like, bro, how? Why is my dog barking like a boss? Game needs faster tokens. You're telling me, bro. You're telling me. I've always wanted to get rid of SD-102 in this category, but I realized that that will seriously, like, never ever happen. Um... Because even if we could find a way to skip the beginning of Nado Immense that we don't need ball, Guess Ring is not even, like, that much faster anyway, and then when you factor all the time, these waste skipping that, you know, re-warping back to the beginning, and, you know, it would save, like, hardly anything anyway. So what we can all we can actually hope for is to find something new to significantly speed up sandwich driving, so that repeating it is sort of a non-issue. Guitar isn't needed for VMS, unless you're going to do some sort of VMS with SpongeBob, then it's required. But if you're just using Patrick, you can just do it. But, um... It's just, you know, what are we gonna do with it? Hold on. To get to shelf. When, uh, well, when you when you set up VMS and you warp to another level, and, and if you're Patrick, you literally just hold A through the load, and then you get the high boost. With SpongeBob, you have to hold the R trigger and A. Which is why you need guitar if you're gonna do a SpongeBob VMS. The VMS is set up with Spongebob, but we don't need guitar for that because uh, we can clip inbounds a Spongebob to set up the VMS, like without guitar. We don't need an A plus A clip or anything. They are, they are able to buffer it in battle, but yeah, no, we literally just hold a button to move it. Pretty best. Well, yeah, it's the only place that gives you, like, any real height, really. But it's also fucking useless. Otherwise, we'd, we, we, we would use it for SCDA floating block. You have to enter the level once so that the 3-2-1 countdown disappears afterwards. And I think combat, like, refreshes it. So what we'd have to do, right? After uh, playing combat, we'd have to warp... We'd be warped back to ice skating. Then we'd warp the floating block. Then we'd warp back to ice skating, so we waste a, a couple loads. Then we do bounce a SpongeBob. To, uh, set up uh, the, the funny thing. Set it up. Um, then do floating block. And then that's our 40th token, and then we go back and grab guitar, and then we have to set ball storage. It would save, like, probably, like, 40 seconds. Or may maybe, like, at least, like, it's like 35 to 40 seconds it would save. 
It would also uh, mean that ice physics ice physics glitch doesn't mean anything anymore. Doesn't matter if we have it or not, which would be nice. You can't even VMS in the combats because um, the text bounds you to the ground. The are you ready kids text. Yeah, it's a, it's a tragedy. Like a boss. Run kind of sucks. I will simply make it good again. Giga Chad. I thought I upgraded Bastion. That would have been that would have been very. It would. I mean, it would have made for a good Twitch clip, I guess. But that would have been kind of embarrassing. So true. Pipple, if you want uh, a one flat shrimply play within thirty seconds of your summer best for the next like. 30 something minutes, like 32 minutes. I'm already gonna automatically lose like six here from missing Spewer Boost. So let's be honest, I'm missing Spewer Boost. Also, I can, like, never beat my gold because I went for Spew Boost in a situation where I clearly shouldn't have gone for it. Because it was, like, seriously just- it was clearly not gonna work, and then it worked anyway somehow. So I automatically lose, like, half a second plus off my gold anyway because I never played that risky. When setting a sp and see, yeah, I didn't get enough height. I don't know why, I like bashing that wall jump thing. It, it doesn't really mean anything, I just like bashing it. Um, that could have been bad. That was, like, as fast as it could have been for not doing Spew Boost. That's a bad sign. That literal exact thing happened twice yesterday, and in both instances, I fucked up Chris, uh, Quick Chris. So I feel like this is deja vu. Let's see if it is deja vu. Well, like, Geja Vu, am I right, fellas? Okay, it's not Deja Vu. Yeah, I thought of it on the fly, like, a while ago. I was like, that actually, like, works. Because we can't call it, like, Chris token animation skip or anything stupid like that. So, and, and it, do, it does need a different name compared to Chris skip, because... Um... Like, like, it's very difficult and most people are not gonna do it. So in a case like that, a trick needs a different name.
Ah, uh, you can start with only some moves upgraded, Sky. Which, uh, currently is only used for 3k Hondo, I think. But yeah, you can do that. Because in 3k Hondo, you want unupgraded Bash for Bounceless. But you want, uh, upgraded Guitar to destroy the, uh, the boxes quickly to get the extra. You know, the one that's next to Bungie. I'm pretty sure that's the only time it's used anyway. Uh, yeah, I I said it to Chris and he said they didn't like the name. So, uh, yeah. But, like, there is literally nothing else you could call it that's better, so it's called Quick Chris. Like a mouse. No, iPod, you, you can use... As many as you want, but in the in that one IL, it is faster to only have guitar upgraded. That wasn't so tough. You can have whichever ones you want upgraded. Uh, one I was using in particular for, like, the combat especially was, like, uh, max health as well. That was quite useful. Chris the Quick. Boy, that Chris is quick. Hello, Ditto. How are you doing today? Um, I'm plus, but I mean, I guess I'm winning in the sense that this is on pace. What about you? Are you winning at life? Upgraded Bash is, like, still seen in some categories, I think, but you're hardly gonna see it. There aren't even that many categories we need to Bash anyway. Nice. I hope you succeed. Evil Pip will be like, I hope you suck. Bash boosting is, like, such a big part of 3k, and then, yeah, and then you just don't see any bashing again until fucking Nathalman, and, and, like, all the bashing is just because of bash boosting, not, like, actual bashing, <laughs> which is kind of funny. Yeah, I, I can't remember a point casually where you use it in now the woman. I'm probably forgetting something, but still, like I can't They really, really like ball in now the woman. Like fucking it's, they really like it. I think I found a new manip for that button that I invented just now. The foggers kept getting in my way, but I went close to them so that they would burp at me and then I'd walk away and then throw it. And I even uh, made it early, actually. So I had to hold it for a bit, but that... I think I might start doing that, yeah. I mean, that looked good to me. Plus three seconds. Damn. Run is uh not too hot right now. Wait, do you need it now though, man? I wish you can't think of any.
Oh. Yeah, the, you need you need bash when you like climb up that one tower. I think there's like a couple bash spots, and I think that's it. Yeah. Wow, bash really fucking falls off like a boss. Even even heavy iron hated bash. It's, it's kind of funny because you literally needed to beat three k. You would have thought that they would just make it like every other button ever and let you destroy it, uh, the buttons with like guitar or something, but nope. You literally need bash. Very unheavy iron like. Oh my god, he literally got a cruise boost. Is this what you know that joke about how McDonald's employees just just hear the uh, the beeping of the machines in their sleep or whatever? I feel like cruise boosting like that would be like for battle runners with cruise boosting. Trying to sleep, they just hear SBA and cruise boosting. No, this is misery. <laughs> Oh, the misery. Red. Yellow. Cool. I don't trust that. World Record's, like, basically dead. TBH. Yeah, no, it's, it's pretty damn dead. Speaking of cruise boosting, if you want to know what cruise boosting would be like in this game, watch my video about how useful would cruise boosting be on Pipple SRC. And then like, comment, and subscribe. Pitbull try not to plug his second channel videos every stream challenge. Only goofy go cool, epic pogas swag. I have not seen that meme I probably, but that's kind of funny. Stay with him, oh yeah, I tried to do some fucky stuff in Sunday last night, but I couldn't find anything. There's a way to, to like, unload part of a level, and I was hoping to do some checkpoint abuse stuff, but I can't... Didn't seem like there was a way of doing that, unfortunately. Game bad. <clears throat> Most true message in my chat ever. Bro said something so true that he had to post true three times. Your alt. What's your alt? Yeah. 
fuck you. I thought we were gonna get a plot twist that you were actually Femboy Foundation and not Lena, and I was about to, like, about to blow my mind, but no. That clever to make an account called fucking Femboy Foundation. Nothing creative about that, it's just bullying and harassment for real. Minor spelling mistake, I win. I used to, like, get into internet arguments with, with people when I was, like, a young teen. And then sometimes to get to the point where you're at a stalemate and you just have to wait for them to make a typo. You are... Now I know how my ancestors felt. God, I know I've said this before, but Patrick is so fucking ugly in the tub. Well, this isn't a tub, you know what I mean? In the, in the sliding level, he's ugly as fuck. Same. I used to, like, not know when I was younger, and then I just woke up one day, I was just like, damn, now I know somehow. I just, like, have gained this power, and then I was just able to cor I, I used to, like, correct people, just random comments for no reason, it's just fucking... Yeah. He looks like he's fucked up on something, that's for sure. So true, SpongeBob. I, I think the devs just weren't thinking, because they're even in fucking no choose bef like, before any of the shit even happens. The heavy iron devs are so stupid, Brev. How could they not spot this obvious mistake? Damn it, nearly golded, but not quite, because I'm cringe. Yeah. 
Thank you, Opo. Very cool. Okay, this is actually, like, loosely on world record purse. Faster, faster. I'm gonna be minus, like, a second or two. One oh four is really fast for RTA. That kind of sucks, but not a huge deal. I can't two frame the fucking token. In it, Rev. Chefs be like, no, don't let me cook. That wasn't that was not even funny, I'm sorry. Sharktail. I've never seen Sharktail, I don't think. Well, I hear that it's like... Funny bad. But yeah, I don't really watch that much, like, funny bad stuff, honestly. Because I sometimes get more annoyed than, like, laughing at it. If I take it too seriously. And the run's dead. 
Dude. Dude, stop. The reason why the run died, by the way, is because, um... What's it called? Um... What was I saying? Oh, yeah. It's because I guitared a little too late. So the the game didn't register it as a guitar glide clip because I clipped before I used guitar, I guess. So yeah, just a little bit of a misinput by a few frames. Now the run is dead. It, it, the trick is harder than it looks. It's such a pain in the ass. Lenny the shark that doesn't eat meat. And it was one big allegory for gay people for some reason, apparently. Don't get me started on gay people. Bleh. I can bring back the paddy wagon, but you'll need more. Okay, freest 101 ever, but a little bit disappointing. Though the run really wasn't anything special. Um, after Dennis, though, I really started. I played really well between SCDA 2 to um, the beginning, like half of like Plank. Uh, uh, Plank. Played super well for, for that duration. But the rest of the run was just pretty whatever, I guess. Hey, could Patrick speedruns win? Hello, Tara. I hope you're having a good day. Um, I don't really need a GG on that. Um, after all, I'm trans and I'm gay, and Logan Paul is my savior. Sure of of KSI is my favorite. I, f I forgot what the other line is after that. The game is gay, this is very true. This might fail. I only barely made it. Jesus Christ.
All hail, Plankton. Dodge, SpongeBob, dodge! Another 101 for the books, I suppose. I have 10, so this is, I've been getting a lot more recently. I've been getting a lot more 101s. I had like five or something for ages. Like, I and only one of them was from a non PB, but now I'm getting them a lot more. Which is good because it means I'm able to play closer to my summer burst. If I'm able to get more 101s than before. And the sum of S hasn't even improved very much, and that shows, like, my consistency has improved. Even if on some runs it definitely doesn't feel like it. Nah, bro, I've never misupgraded in Neptune. Neptune's, like, the easiest upgrade- uh, guitar is, like, the easiest upgrade to do. Other than throw, because it's, like... Yeah. Oh yeah, that's my current Hondo PB. I did I didn't even upgrade Bash in that run. I just really wanted to make that the thumbnail. It's, it's not even like It's funny. Okay, so I have three Hondo PBs that just say real, real. And only one of them actually is accurate to like what actually happens in the run. One of them is Toast Early, one of them is Fake Ring, which didn't happen in my run, and the other one is Bash, which I didn't upgrade in my run. Now I need to keep the trend going. Next time I get a really good Hundo PB, I gotta figure out like I gotta figure out what I'm gonna call it. Uh, or I mean, like what the thumbnail is gonna be, because I wanted to say real, real, but yeah. One oh one thirty two. Kill him, kill him like a boss. Uh, no, no, uh, idiot. <laughs> um, man. yeah, so like I said before, my PB is one flat until guess two. But, yeah, I was plus 24 on it, not really that surprised. Um, but then I was able to really bring it back, and I nearly brought it back here, until, as the split suggests, Gil failed. And then I just played about the same as my PB until the end. So assuming I wouldn't have choked, if I just, like, wasn't cringing plank, would have been a world, world recce, don't know by how much, but... But my gold's like a 157, or a one, yeah, it's like 157, and I think I could have definitely gotten like a two flat. Yeah, so I could have gone world record, but like... Paradise above the waves, we must stop and wonder how long and 
like seven seconds, like a thirteen or a fourteen. Now go outside and get some sun. That would have been pretty cool. So, as always, I update the Mindy Consistency Log, 87 out of 113. And I update the 101 count to 11. And we do more runs. Also, thank you for the GG's, I appreciate it. Bro, get up. Helicopter, helicopter. Oh, uh, there's, there's grass there I can't get past. Wow, this game sucks. Allow me to explore at once. Wait, what if I can, like, poke through here? Hey, there we go. Helicopter, helicopter. No, it's fucking... It's not solid. No. These aren't solid either. In fact, there's an invisible wall here. Alright, where's the extra? I'm gonna go nab it. Fuck. Dude, this level sucks! Why is there so many fucking invisible walls, bro? What are you gonna do with all those fucking walls? Fuck my dreams being crushed. My balls are getting crushed right now, bro. <laughs> More like no fun. For real. Oh, I clip back in. What if you like? Oh, uh, I was about to do a lag clip. I don't know. There's water. There's goo in the fucking. Okay, I've had enough. Frankly, there's goo in the ground. Like, bro. Welcome. Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The manager is here. Yep, excitement, adventure. Just another day in the life of a manager. It's a short slide from manager to, well, not manager. Manager coming through. Simple but satisfying. Is the room spinning or is it just me? This is a job for a manager. This is a job for a you know, you can say to me about glitches all you want, but you know what they say. Glitches get bitches. Hey. Oh, well, I'd like to wake up now. I, I, I'm not gonna get any stitches, bro. I can assure you. You're a bitch. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm really sorry for saying that, bro. However... Yeah? Oh! 
Oh. Fuck, you mean thank you. Yeah. Bro was not happy winning for those marshmallows to come back. Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The manager is here. Yep. Excitement. Adventure. Just another day in the life of a manager. Boing. It's a short slide from manager to, well, not manager. Cleanliness is next to managerliness. This is a job for a manager. A manager is always prepared. Bro. I I forgot about this until recently. I bought a uh, knockoff Prime, and I have yet to try it. It's the blue raspberry flavor, but it's knockoff Prime. I forget what it's what the drink is is actually called, but it is like in the style like the bottle looks semi similar to it. Um. And for a knockoff bottle. In itself, it actually was still being sold for a lot of money. It's just it was a lot cheaper relative to Prime. So I think they're trying to capitalize off of, like... You know. Because Prime is normally £2, and I found the bottle for £1.25, the knockoff one. I recommend at least giving it a go if you can get one for like normal price. Also, I'm not expecting the drink to actually be good. I just wanted to see, you know, because I know what the blue one's supposed to taste like and feel like, you know, texture-wise and shit, so you can actually compare them. If it tastes exactly like Prime, I'll feel a little stupid. Oh yeah, um, I haven't asked for a wh little while. How's your hack coming along? <laughs> you don't mind me asking? Me. Yeah, I like owning Prime because it's a uh, novelty thing, but if the knockoff tastes the same, then yeah, I guess that's a benefit.
Mr. Squid. Okay, this depression's bad, but whatever, I'll continue it. SpongeBob. Cool. When it came to, like, a demo, I thought you were just gonna take what you already made and just slap the wood demo on it and just make it a thing, but it seems like you're poli really polishing it up. Oh, uh, yeah, sliding competition. When the, when are the results for that? Um, I mean, like, the stream, I guess. see it's cool that people made sliding levels anyway it just like you know it's just that you know most of them are done in battle i believe because it's easier to make uh, sliding levels in battle Yeah. Why did no one do a sliding level for Scooby-Doo, SMH Brave? Um, yeah. I'm not really surprised that they did it for battle, um, but the, I'm glad that there are two movie ones because it's just cooler to have it in a movie in the, in the tub, you know, it's cooler. Uh, are you talking about Wilcon's mod? Yeah. Well, that's interesting. I... I didn't realize that was a submission. I thought he made that like a while ago or something. That's pretty cool. I've never seen that in my life. No exaggeration, I've never seen that in my life. Bruh, I didn't even think of- I, I, I've never even had it as a passing thought, like I wanted- Oh, like what if you died there? I've literally just never thought of it in my life. Yeah, I suppose so. Six submissions isn't, like, a ton, but I would imagine it's harder to make sliding levels than Spongebob Tally. Ugh. Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The manager is here. Yep. Excitement. Adventure. Just another day in the life of a manager. It's a short slide from manager to, well, not manager. Oh, okay. Manager is 
Yeah, I, I, yeah, that makes sense. I, I don't know how much, like, how many submissions, like, they regularly got, but that makes sense. It's cool that people are very interested in the SpongeBob challenges then. I think that's cool. SpongeBob is just naturally fun, so I guess, like, you know. It's probably easy to get the creative juices flowing for something like that. You know what SpongeBob is, like, really good, actually, is the one from Latte's uh, hack. Um, I forgot the name of it. Um, not Lake of Graves, like the other one. That was like a very well made SpongeBob. Welcome. Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The manager is here. Yeah. Excitement, adventure. Just I think your Super SpongeBob challenge was probably also like. I mean, that had a ton of ideas and stuff. Manager coming through. Cleanliness is next to managerliness. I mean, you live and learn. Like, I obviously greatly appreciate what it was, and I thought a lot of the ideas were great. It's just that there was, like, uh, difficulty spikes and stuff, and, like, weird cycles sometimes. But, like, if you made another one, then it would just be better. But, like, you have to start somewhere. And, like, nobody had done what you did before. So, it was just inevitable that it would... I don't think I've... I don't think I've ever done that before, either. Welcome. I was I was thinking before a really cool idea for some sort of competition. Fear, good of 
would be like everybody makes like a platforming level for a movie and like you kind of stitch it together but that would take a lot of community work But it would be a quick, easy way of getting, um, not easy, but, like, a uh, relative quick way of getting a full game movie hack. Welcome. Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The manager is here. Yep, excitement, adventure, just another day in the life of a manager. Yeah, exactly, iPi. The only issue with that, then, is that the quality of the levels... The quality of the levels would be... ...inconsistent, but, like, that's the fun of it, you know what I mean? Well, yeah, I've wanted to, I mean, imagine what you could do with, with the fucking full game movie hack. There's so much potential. And Battle has one. Why not movie? The first, like, proper, proper one was BFB Mix, and that came out in 2020, which I can't believe has been nearly three fucking years. I'm old and I should die. But, like... Movie still does not have one. And when there is one, it is either going to be Blitz or Movie Mix, or uh, maybe a community thingy, potentially. But either way. It'll happen eventually, I just don't know how long it'll take. Anyway, Sky, did you find cool time saves in BBBH? Okay, cool. Also, I, I just, you know, the idea of uh, people working on, like, levels and stitching them together to make a full game movie hack. Like a community effort thing. Oh, that's what he meant. He had, um... I didn't realize he was... I thought he was making Weenie Hut Juniors. I'm not sure anymore. I need to be more up to date with, with my uh, movie modding update knowledge. Honestly, what I hope to wake up to every day, the first thing I do when I wake up is check my Discord notifications to see if there's anything in movie discoveries. <laughs> That's like my priority every time I wake up. Wake up text from Bay. No, I want fucking discoveries in the movie channel. I don't want to see things like holy shit, you know? I want to see those no soul notifications in discoveries. I'm like, god damn, I gotta click on this ASAP. And then while I'm still awake, uh, you know, processing being alive, being awake, I click on it, and then it's like fast weenie out of bounds, saves 25 seconds, fucking easy to do. I'm just like, holy fuck, dude, that's the goal. Is movie gonna end up having more full game hacks and bats by the time everything comes out? That would be kind of funny if it did like a 180. Yeah, people seem to like modding for movie more. Because, um, I guess it has more features and capabilities and stuff. 
Um... However... Well... Yeah, that's basically it. Number one tip from Spongebob Movie Pro, never learn that trick ever under any circumstances. You will be put in a position where like, you're consistent enough to where you have to do it, but you fucking regret it every time you miss it, and you miss it a lot. So uh, yeah, never learn it. Doing you a solid there. True, true. That's what I'm saying. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, my capture card arrived today, but I'm not using it right now because I didn't have time to install it. So if you remember, my capture card was randomly disconnecting in the middle of stream. So I bought one. Uh, a capture card, a PCIe capture card. However, since then, this capture card hasn't freaked out on me, so I don't know if it's, like, fixed itself or not. So I might have pulled a capture card for no reason. That would be, like, so typical if, like... If, like, I was having capture card issues, they were fucking up my runs, and then as soon as I buy a capture card, it's, like, fixed itself. I mean, I could use her as a backup, I suppose. I might even be able to use it for my second PC. Mayhaps. Eric Cartman Bolin AI cover. Welcome. Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The manager is here. Yep, excitement, adventure, just another day in the life of a manager. Oh yeah, regardless of the size of the hack, by the way, or if it's battle or movie, I still highly respect all the mods and all that, of course. Um... I'm just still widow impatient, and I, and I like the idea of a full game movie hack. But I appreciate, like, any hack that anybody makes, especially if I can play it on stream. If it's worth playing on stream, because, um, content, and also it's just cool. See what people can do. Latte's hack really impressed me. It's, like, the most... It has, like, the best presentation out of, like, any of the hacks, probably. Like, uh, in the entire, like... Uh, out of all of them, I think it's, like, the most... Is like the least blocky and stuff. I think it just like looks the best. Uh, well, I'd like to wake up now. Uh -oh. Oh, <laughs> It really was great. I only had like a few pretty minor things to say about it. 
uh, criticism wise. Just like, you know, there should be a checkpoint here, there should be a melon here, that's basically it. happens bro i always try to like ledge grab but i always get fucked i should probably check Welcome. the heavy eye modding server in case there's been any more releases Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The manager is nah just the fps modifier the movie which in itself is a pretty interesting feature I think it's really cool that they even put JF in movie, and they have uh, some ghost enemies. I assume from Scooby Doo, because where else would they be from? Fucking awesome. A manager is always prepared. Manager coming through. Cleanliness is next to managerliness. They got a life system working? That's fucking crazy. I would imagine, yeah. You can do so much. And and what has also really helped as well uh, was that, uh, that discovery to, like, bypass memory limit. That's also going to be very big. E even just... You, you can just immediately feel like... When I played Wilcon Space Hack, he said the level was going to be bigger, but there was a memory limitation issue. That automatically shows that, like, people will make bigger mods. Yeah, it's great. And, you know, who knows what it'll be like in a few years. But... Could be even more people working on shit. There could be even less limitations. And there could have been another one if I actually got into modding, but... <laughs> yeah, no. Things happen. Smiley face. Okay, well, I'm fucking busy, bro, right? Yesterday, I dedicated my whole fucking day to movie. You know what I did after my stream? I spent like two hours or more trying to find stuff in movie. 
Yeah, it was more than two hours, like two and a half hours trying to find stuff in movie. So fuck you. Yeah, exactly. I'm busy not modding. I had a lot to do, bro. A lot to do. And I still have a lot to do. There's no I. <laughs> Do it properly now. Fuck you, bro. I thought you were cool. But now I see that you cringe. I know you're not. Don't need to tell me twice. I'm not feeling like a game of catch right now. No, I'm hot. I'm as hot as movie lava. Little sketch, but that was alright overall.
I thought I missed. I thought I pressed it too late. I'm glad I did not. I found one. Did Mickey bother to tell us if the train was still running around here? Talk about pretty that was close. I had a nightmare last night. I was playing movie 100% send prayers. Movie Undo's not that bad, bro. Not that bad. Mag made it a lot better, and, um... Got extras. Isn't that cool? Oh yeah, well, my nightmare is, um... You. You're in my nightmares. Hello, Latte. How are you doing on this wonderful Boy Tummy Tuesday? Anyway... Yeah, I mean, it's just good to have, like, runs of, like, every category. It just looks good on your profile, IMO. Um, although if you're gonna do that... Stitching- just stitching together, like, a run. You know, you can probably just copy, like, my general route. Um... My route's, like, the third fastest possible route that you can do. And the uh, the only adjustments I can make to it would be AIDS. Actually, it's, it's technically the fourth uh, fastest, because... If I did SD-102 earlier, I could save a scroll, but I'm not fucking doing that. I don't give a fuck about a scroll. If it means doing that fucking segment earlier. Um... Yeah, this mag does stand for magnetic pickup. I just call it mag, because it's, like... Save a lot of syllables like that. Well, in Hundo, it's more important. It's even more important to follow the correct route for the mag. Oh, wait. I misread your message, like, really badly. I read it as, I, I need to play the other category, probably. But you said, I need to play the category properly. I was talking about Hundo. Either way, you could probably get a pretty good time in the category. I think, uh, optimally, there's only, like, a nine-minute gap between it and no pole storage. I think it's nine? Oh, wait, no, it's ten. Well, it's, like, nine and a half if they're both, like, perfect. Well, eh, I don't know. Like, not, like nine and a half to ten. Um... Although you will mostly, like, never really be able to play, like, get all the extras perfectly. What's your time in all extras, even?
That was... That was fucked. Okay, yeah, you can improve that by a lot then. Did Mindy bother to tell us if the train was still running around here? I'm running against the wrong splits. No wonder I kept being so plus on them out of sandwich driving. I wasn't really even thinking about it. But that would explain it. 139. That, yeah, because, again, the extras take, like, 10 minutes, but even even if they took you, like, 15 minutes, then that would be the equivalent of having a 124 in no pull storage. And your time is, like, 114 or something. I don't know. I don't remember exactly, but it's, like, 10 minutes faster. So... So, if anything, even at, like, the absolute minimum, you could easily get a 129. Knucklehead? I have it in Knucklehead. Okay, that's kind of funny. Um... That would contribute to a lot of time loss, yeah. Just free time save for the next speed run, Brev. But yeah, no, I mean, you, you should definitely aim for, like, at least, like, a sub-130. I think. I don't think it would take very long to get that. Back to no cheese. Back to no cheese. Welcome. Never fear, good citizens. Eleven minutes. To be fair, now the man's pretty long in all extras, but eleven minute SCDA in addition to dying on Sunday, plus nine minute plank. Eight minute knucklehead. Uh, let me just quickly look at all extras. Come on, hard drive, you can do it. Yeah, I have a 616 now, the women, and a 420. Well, I do float, yeah, so. Like. Like, seven minute float, uh, SDA. And then. Nine minute Sunday. Fuck, that's brutal. Literally, like, f at least, like, four minutes of free time save there, and then eight-minute knucklehead, so, like, five minutes there, so nine minutes of time save uh, from that alone, from those two things alone, and then just... You, you can get, like, a 125, get in touch with honestly. Oh, 
Oh, I I misread it. But still, though, I think you could get like a 125 still. Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The manager is yeah. here. You, you just inevitably go in to make mistakes, but... Obviously, you can definitely minimize, like, how many there are and how bad they are. Like, do you ever make a mistake, get tilted, and then make another mistake only because you got tilted? So that's happened to me plenty of times. Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The manager is here. Just another day in the life of a manager. Mentality matters a ton. It's, a short slide from manager it's just that it's like probably the least... <laughs> like... It's probably the thing that runners take into account the absolute least. Just in speedrunning in general. But it's one of the more important things in my opinion. Manager coming through. Oh. Yeah, I guess two. Not that fast. Not wholesome 100 pog champ. Hey. All extra Zyle. Well, that sounds pretty interesting. Sky, uh, may you please present it to the class? It makes me wonder if there's any other routes that could be found for the ILs because they've been pretty over. Like, I've made a couple optimizations when I was going through an IL sweep, but I do wonder about some stuff. Because with PvPH, I wouldn't have thought of, like, anything. I like that all extras doesn't have guests too. I feel like it adds more variety, but pulls it. Uh, you know, routing mistakes happen a lot. You know, there's no other category at that length or like longer that doesn't have guests too. So it's easy to make the routing mistake. Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The manager is here. Just another day in the life of a manager. It's a short slide from manager to, well, not manager. Boing! These just ooze macho. A manager is always prepared. This is a job for a manager. Right. Hey. What? What does that even mean? Uh, well, I'd like to wake up now. What is bro on now? Twinkle, twinkle, little movie runner. Die. I want that twink obliterated. 
I see, and that's from 2019. Welcome. Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The Mr. Electric, breathe that twink. Yep, excitement, adventure, just another day in the life of a manager. It's a short slide from manager to, well, not manager. This is a job for a manager. I'm feeling like more of a man already. I don't know why I panned the camera down. <laughs> I don't know why the book. Thanks for the help, boy. A manager is always prepared. Mr. Electric, send him to the Twink Obliteration Chamber and have him obliterated. What if I'm the Twink Obliterator? Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The manager is here. Yep, excitement. Adventure? Just another day in the life of a manager. It's a short slide. Rue, dot dot dot. Well, not manager. I seriously might be the best emote on my channel. Actually, never gets old. I failed this twice in a row. I should run battle instead. <laughs> I should run movie GBA. At least there's no canyon skip, Keg W. Imagine if, like, my final stroll of this game was just missing canyon skip and just run battle for the rest of the stream. Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The manager is here. Yep. Excitement. Adventure. Well, I need to fulfill the sub goal, I buy. If you want to give me five gift subs. So that I can do it. Bro, I don't... I've already played through it. I don't need to fucking run it, too. Eh. Which does remind me, I probably should submit some of the uh, highlighted ones to the custom, but th there's a lot of runs that aren't on the boards. Or, I mean, a lot of hacks that aren't on the boards. Or, I could have subway surfers. Okay, well if there's any other long mobile gameplay online, I would like to know about it because I can't fucking find any. If you can find fucking... Any of those other games, those mobile games that are popular, and, like, really long playthroughs of them. That I can just put in the background. I would love to know about it. That's 
It's not a game. Like, what is bro actually on? I'll have a look in a second. Like a pause. This is just a bunch of fucking pipes. SpongeBob. Also, the issue with this is that it's full screen, I think. And I'd have to squish it into a very tiny way, so it'd look really bad. The reason why the mobile gameplay works is because I barely have to stretch it to fit behind the sports. But then it's not the same as the busy business the same. You can't see all the action. Fun fact, by the way, I always have subway surfers playing behind the sports, you just can't see them. You just can't see it. I assume you meant dying. As my stream dying. Seems pretty stable to me, bro. Solve what? World hunger? I'll tell you what, never solve world hunger. Subway Surfers was there for fucking, like, a month or two months, maybe, before Capture Card Issues struck. I think I've actually fixed the issue now, anyway. I put my PC, I turned my PC's power options to high power mode, and I selected an option so that USB ports can never, like, go idle to, like, save energy. And it hasn't fucked up since. Um, so it might be a coincidence, but I might have fixed it. Potentially. Oh, I didn't realize I was letting the fucking 3D pipe thing play in the background. I mean, like, it's in the corner of my eye right now. Well, I technically have done runs. We should add stuff to the boards. However, I'm not gonna lie, movie modding does not take much work, and I literally can't remember how to add stuff to boards. Uh, to, like, a full game leaderboard thingy, like with the custom movie. I don't remember how to do stuff. Do you just add it, like, a normal category, or what? Because it's technically, like, hosting a bunch of games, so I don't know, like, how it actually work. Hello, Bottle. How you doing today? Also, thank you for the good luck. I appreciate it.
Oh, I just realized, by the way, I always, like... I usually fuck around with the, uh, move around a little bit before I start actually playing the hacks, and I usually crop that bit out, so... I probably can't submit any of my playthroughs as runs. Because even just, like, asking people if, like, the audio is okay, I'll just be moving Spongebob around and spinning and stuff, just, just so, like, you can hear, like, Spongebob relative to the background music. Um, I've been getting more, like, world record pace runs and runs that die in late game. I had, like, a one flat paced run yesterday. But yeah, I've been finishing, I've been getting more 101, so I guess my consistency has been increasing, but the game's still being a bitch. Mindy Skip failed twice yesterday in a row. But I, I did finish a 101 today. The world record pacer died in Plank. Uh, the second half of Plank. But, um... If it weren't for that, it would have it would have been world record by, like, 7 seconds or something. I, I am, like... I feel like it's I'm gonna get a world record soon. Because I've just been finish I've been getting more 101s. I've been having more 101 paces. And when they die, it's usually in late games. I'm, I'm bound to, like, punch through eventually. Also, there was no way that two frame worked. That was like a fucking four frame, bro. Yeah. This happens roughly in the middle of like every stream where I just don't get runs going for like two plus hours or something. It's like how the stomach, because it's like every fucking. If it always happened at, at like four hours in or something, I just wouldn't stream beyond like four hours. But because it's always like in the middle of the stream. I just have to fucking, you know, suffer, <laughs> and then, uh, after a couple hours, I'll finally get somewhere again. I think part of what's been helping me get more runs going is, uh, I disabled Rumble. I, like, snipped the wires for my Rumble. And I've mostly stopped bleeding the no the bad no cheese load because most of my runs uh, first no cheese attempts don't get past the level anyway. And even when they do, sometimes you don't really even get like bad loads on the first no cheese anyway. There's like a few frames sometimes. Glover. Nope. Now, why would I do that, good sir? Is the room spinning, or is it just me? Nope. Uh, That's what I think about your fucking nonsense. Glover was alright, but movie better for real. Uh, like to wake up now. First of all, Glover is 20 FPS and you really feel it. Second, the game has like fucking like three frames of delay or something ridiculous like that. So it's really hard to do anything. Third, there's like a bunch of areas of levels that just don't make any like there are times where it's, like, really hard to get a ball somewhere, and then you find out the Glover didn't even have to get the ball up there. It, like, there were just so many times where you do or, or don't need to get a ball up to, like, a big tower, and it never actually indicates to you when you don't need to. It's really fucking annoying. Co paired with one of the worst bosses I've ever seen in a video game. And difficult to comprehend controls. Yeah, the game is just okay. Welcome. Uh, I guess I would, because I now have a connection to Glover, but that's, like, never happening. 
The glove of devs went out of business after that game. And no one really remembers or cares about it. I feel like Bubsy got a revival because of, um... You know, because it was so bad, whereas, like, something like Glover is just, like, wasted potential, I feel like. I'm missing this more than normal today. Anyway, I hope you're doing well today, Hosa. Um... Welcome. Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The manager is here. See just who is macho. It's a short slide from manager to... Not manager. <laughs> manager coming through. This is a job for movie rehydrated walked so Bubsy could run. A manager is always We are never getting movie rehydrated. Sorry to crush your dreams. Minecraft YouTuber reference. It was really funny before, right? It felt like you could never, people would never shut the fuck up about Dream. Then, like, the school summer ended, and then talks about him, like, dropped off a cliff back in, like, 2021. And it was just really obvious that, like, all the people who were talking about him were in fucking, like, <laughs> like middle school or something. I just thought that was really funny. When I grow up, I want to be like Dream. I want to get millions of supporters. And I'll just quote tweet someone who says I smell bad or something. And then all my followers tell them to die. Until they deactivate. And, and they also get doxxed. Um, I'm not responsible for, uh, for, um, um, what my fans do, Brave. Sacrifices must be made. I'll sacrifice you if you carry on. When I grow up, I want to be like Pibble Foundation comes out as gay. Have you ever thought about how you're you're uh, you're cringe and you should shut up? Have you ever thought about that? Also, that was a big gust of wind. I just did outside. Anyway, point being. That has nothing to do with me, bro, if that happens. Oh my god. Dude, I knew, I knew when I, I failed Sandwich Out of Bounds I was gonna be stuck here for ages. Give me, give me reasons how I'm cringe. Give me reasons. I would love to hear them. Eleven, what the fuck? It's a short slide from manager to well not manager. How the fuck could it save eleven? Manager coming through. Let 
manliness is next to managerliness. Literally, how is that possible, bro? This is a job for a manager. One, you run movie. Now that makes me cool. Hey. Uh, well, I'd like to wake up now. Anyway, Sky, good work. I have you posted in the movie server? I'll have to have a look. Gather around children. And by that, I mean just go in the movie server and have a look yourself. I'm not putting it on the screen. <laughs> After this run, I'll take a look. I have a thought about something, but I should probably actually watch it. Bitch, um, You know when you don't want to get a run going? But then, like, at that point, you guarantee to get a run going. I think that might happen here. I hope it's an awesome, like, Kansas strat. Ah. What the fuck? SpongeBob. What the fuck? Okay, I didn't get to watch the whole thing, but I saw you, gr like, I think grabbed a warp and then went back down. Oh, okay. I'm surprised that would be faster, or I mean faster by 11 seconds, because... You can get the extra pretty quick after warping the fruit. I spent an hour getting idle Fortnite XP and it got me to level nine. Yeah, I, I there's a there's an AFK map that I use to get to level 100. They fucking removed trio, so now I'm just like never playing the fucking game again, probably. But I'm still not letting my battle pass go to waste. So uh, yeah, I'm just getting to level 100 every every season. Yeah, it, just, it takes a while. Also, you have to you have to move around for like you know, like uh every like 20 minutes or something or else it stops giving you fucking XP. Pain in the ass when I'm trying to like I would watch like an episode of South Park or something and then I go up like move around the uh, move the keyboard around a little bit, you know, move my guy around and then go back downstairs. Yeah, I can, Lucy, if I remember. He might want to DM me so that I can actually, like, remember to do that. Because then you'll be- even if I click on the notification, you'll be high up on my DM list, so, like, I'll remember from that. I don't play Fortnite. Right? I just go in the AFK room. Although, uh, if you have AFK maps, then can you tell me yours as well? Because you you might get more XP than me, potentially. Alright, I'm finished watching the thingy. 
Finishing it now. Guys, fucked up. This saves that much. I, I wish you can't comprehend how it saves that much, and I watched the video. It kind of looks like a pain in the ass. But, yeah. Now a two minute time is possible. Dude, that makes it even more annoying, That because my IL missed the electric damage boost, and I had to get a fucking one frame, and I lost, like, two seconds. I didn't even buffer it, I just went for the one frame, and I got it, but I lost, like, two seconds from that. <laughs> I was kind of annoyed. But it wouldn't have been World Record anyway, so I didn't, like, or it's like, a second, but yeah, I didn't... Yeah. But now, maybe, maybe, just maybe, I could get a recce, question mark? Who knows? Oh. Uh, well, in that case, you can get a 2x. Like a boss. Oh, uh, Sky, that would save time in uh, EPAE. I think, right? Yeah, I don't see why it wouldn't. Okay, I know I, I know I said we need the we need BBBH forwards for Hundo, but do you remember that really old route that you came up with that like it grabs the th like the last thing in the timing is getting the throwing through extra? Like what if you I don't remember how the route went, but like what if you could do something with that maybe? I don't know. I'm not sure, because it's been a while, so I can't really remember the route. If this saves enough time, then it'd be faster to do shit, like, during, you know, load into Frogfish and then do, like, Weenie 2 early or something stupid. I don't remember. You need to breathe. I think it's uploaded the TSM archive, so... You get passive idle XP and you can farm fly XP by mowing down passive enemies that stand on a line. That sounds good, Lucy. That sounds really good because... I, okay, whenever I look up, like, Fortnite AF, uh, AFK XP maps, they're literally never AFK and they're, like, glitch things. We have to, like, go out of bounds and fucking... It's really stupid. Um... But, yeah, like... Your one sounds easy, so in the sound of it. Mm, I don't remember the last guy. Thank you, Lucy. And then hopefully, if I remember, then I'll give you my code. Also, oh, hello, Tracen. How you doing today? Why did you send me a message saying streaming I'm trans? Yeah, well, you're funny, should be, should be, should be.
You have to get... Little guy, big skate. Wait, I have a cool idea for uh, maybe some sort of BBBH forwards late route in Hundo. What it, like Sky? Like what? Like what if you did um, that damage boost to get up there, and then you like did like the f uh, maybe like maybe you could get up there and do like parts of throwing through early, and then like you can skip some movement and then just do the beginning bit and then just collect the token real quick. And then go on your merry way, maybe? I'm not sure. Oh, that's better. Yeah. You'd also be on an unpredictable cycle, which would be a pain in the ass. Top 10 question the scientists still can't answer. Why am I born in Wales? Oh. Well, that's pretty good. So it's not even like cycle dependent then. Maybe it is faster potentially. Alright. Sky so wise. Hello Crash, how are you doing today? Thank you for the good luck. Opinion on Sky Wales. Sky is not from Wales. You're asking me, like, what if Sky was from Wales? Um, that would be interesting, I guess. Kind of, I guess. <laughs> Pro just wasted 450 points for no reason. Are you ready, kids? I'm so fucking ready! This game is really mean and assumes I'm a kid. I'll have you know I'm nearly 22 years of age. And I hate it a lot, but yeah, I'm nearly 22. I say this all the time, but I really miss when I was like 19. I nearly bonked on the block just then. The second SpongeBob movie. I just have the same opinion that like everybody has. Where, like, the 2D is better than the CGI, but overall, it's not a bad movie or anything, it's just... I would- I would rather have a better second half than a better first half. Because then, it's like, you're- you're patiently waiting for the good bit. But when you're halfway through the movie, you know that the- like, the best part's already over. But it's not bad. It's, it's still. I definitely think it's still like an enjoyable, good movie, but. This is not an enjoyable trick, on the other hand. Third SpongeBob movie, though, like, actually kind of sucks. Second movie is definitely a lot better than the third one. Apparently, the next movie is gonna be about Sandy. Um, which I'll give it a fair chance. I'm willing to give it a uh, give it a fair chance. It's gonna take a lot to bring this back. But I can bring it back.
Yeah, for Cam Coral. Visually, the movie looks so good. It's like so good. And then the rest of it sucks. There's like dancing zombie pirates and Keanu Reeves. And they have to have that best friends fallout section for a few minutes, because of course they fucking have to. And then they have to shill Camp Coral, even though it's literally not canon, which implies the movie's also not canon, which means why should I give a fuck about anything that's happening? And then they have to- and then they do that whole thing about like, But before you kill us, um, I need to tell you my life story. You know, like that whole thing. Like, that's what they do with Camp Coral, practically, is just like... They do something, like, close to it, rather. And who even is this king guy? They don't, they don't really establish, like, how he fits into the lore or anything. And, like, I do like the idea of a movie of Spongebob saving Gary. I do genuinely like that. And, and again, the visuals are fantastic. I don't really care for the rest of it, though. I don't really personally believe that Snoop Dogg really fits into a uh, Spongebob movie. Personally. Creature movie? Yeah, I think it could. Or even just a movie just about, like, dreams and stuff in general, I think could also go really hard. Um, just, you know, anything to do with, like, dreams. Maybe, like, uh, this, uh, villain is taking over people's dreams. And the Spongebob is, like, pure of heart or whatever, so he's, and Patrick, so they're, like, the only ones who can... Maybe, like, Sandy as well, you know, but, but, like... Two characters, they, they enter their dreams, and any because anything can happen, they can let their creative juices flow and just have a lot of shit happen. And they can get away with it, too, because it's a dream. Um, maybe, uh, they make, you know, the it's just, like, kind of zombify everybody, like, in the first movie. Like, it's just trying to, like, brain rot people, maybe. I, I think something like that could be really interesting. Because, again, like, there's a lot you can do with the idea. Oh, I haven't, I haven't seen that movie. I don't even remember the dream, unless you're talking about the zombie... I, no, that wasn't a dream, was it? Wait, wait, what was the dream sequence? The dream scene? Oh, wait, no, you're talking about the second movie, but still, I don't remember, like, there being a... ...dream thing. Yeah, honestly, not ringing a bell. To be, I've only seen the movie twice. I saw it once, uh, at, like, in, like, 480p on some pirate website, and then, uh... I watched it again in 2021, I think. Or it might have been 2020, but I think it was 20. Yeah, no, 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 it was 2021. Early 2021, and I remember that part. Yeah, I just don't remember it for some reason. Again, yeah, I think the first half is quite solid. But unfortunately, it kind of fell off. <laughs> I also like the idea that the enemy is above the ocean. I think that's also cool. Because, like, when you're making a sequel where, like, in the first movie, Plankton does, like, the most diabolical plan that you can make in the sea, it's kind of funny, then, to have a, the next, like, big villain not be Plankton and have it be an enemy above the sea. Um, although, it's also funny that he just uses his powers to basically just have a successful b fucking burger place. Personally, I would not want to eat a burger next to the beach. The seagulls would fucking steal my food, bro. I would, I would like, never... 
Then again, I guess if you have any food, they're gonna steal it, and I like to eat ice cream in the beach, but... If this seagull stole my ice cream, I think I'd fucking snap its neck. Well, it did happen before when I was super young. Unironically, I had PTSD for a minute, I feel like. The, the, it stole my ice cream, and then my parents would not buy me another ice cream, and I was so fucking upset. Now I just genuinely like to test seagulls. Space. They had a they had an episode in, in season one where SpongeBob goes to space. Well, he, he thinks he's he comes to space, which makes me think like. You know, I'm maybe it, it could be pretty good because that was only an episode worth. I wonder what they could do with a movie and like he actually goes to space. Dude, you know what's really weird? You know Atlantis? Like, I think Atlantis came out in like season five or something. That was so long ago. Atlantis is an old ass game. I mean, uh, well, special and also game. The aliens would like a word with you. I like how they think the Squidward's like some fucking gross fucking tentacle evil monster thing. He's got like a water bottle. Or a, a water... What are they called? What's the fucking thing called? The hot water... The hot water bottle thing. Um... Still need to play Atlantis DS, Cotton got me the money to buy it, and then I just like didn't play it. Big stretchies. Illusion of choice. Illusion of choice in Atlantis. Atlantis is also on GBA, but I have not really seen any of it. Okay, no, 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 no. That was bullshit. How did that not stun him? Like, actually. And I lost ice this glitch. Yep. This run has zero chance of PB. Do I continue it? I think I'll shoot myself if I go back to no cheese again. I feel like I probably need to continue this with my sanity. To get to shelter. You know what that means? 101 pace, let's go. I love 101 pace, woo. I really do need to remake 101 pace. Because it doesn't have Sponge Glide, and it doesn't have Fast Sandwich Out of Bounds, and it doesn't have Quick Cross. It's a little sad that I just, like... I just can just easily name all of the time saves it doesn't have, because we never find any time saves anymore. Rare. However, that sandwich driving one, 
might have some theory potential. Okay, well, I wonder why it doesn't have Lava Room Extra Boost. Hmm, I wonder why. I wonder what's for dinner. If I remember to, then after this run, I kind of want to check that Lava Room Damage Boost. I don't know what you'd call it, maybe like Lava Room Boost or something. Maybe even like lava boost or Yeah. I wouldn't hate calling it that, assuming it's not applicable to any other like category. Like that would do Thorn Fruit. Yeah, no, I- okay. I need to remind myself to do this, but after stream, I'm definitely making new 101 pace splits. I can just take the 2x pace, or I mean the 1x pace, and just add more time to it. Does that literally just add, like, 40 seconds? Wow, what the fuck did it- Dude, what the fuck did it get caught on? Bullshit. How's it going, Smiley? Um, thank you for the GG. Yeah, I don't remember, like, the exact date I got it or anything, but... It was quick to upload the video afterwards. Yeah, I've decreased my summer best by another second since then. And now I, it won't budge anymore. 
But it is nice that I was finally able to... ...to get it. Your mother has no strats in the bedroom. I, I can't, dude. I can't. I just could not morally continue the. I. This will sky. I'm as slow as a snail. Second. Welcome. I am not really... I mean, I just want, like, a 1x, I guess. I'm not sure. Because, I I mean, if I, if I got, like, a god run, I could get a 1 flat. But that's, like, really unrealistic. But maybe OX. Maybe. I don't think my PB even has Quick Cross. Oh, I know it does. It's just a bad Quick Cross. Oh, wow. Uh, the, the segment time for getting Quick Cross yeah. is bad, but yeah. Uh, because my PB is... is one flat pace until guess two. And I had a run yesterday that was, like, minus five out on it out of, like, Frogfish. And the best part of the run of my PB is early game, and I was minus five on it. Which tells me... I mean, granted, that run was, like, un unbelievably good, but, like... One flat is just... just barely, like, possible. And I wonder if I should, like, try and go for it or not. But at the very least, my PB currently is a 10120, so I need at least a 1x at the very, very least. And then after that, if I don't want to get OX, then uh, well, all extras is out of the question now. That run is way too good, so I guess I'd go back to Hundo. But I don't want to go back to Hundo. But if I got, like, a sub 101.15 or something, then my worst run on main probably is Hundo, even though the run's really good. I said this before, but... If, like, shit doesn't get found, then there's gonna be no more times for me to achieve eventually, and, with, like... Assuming stuff doesn't get found, I could genuinely see myself having to go back to battle, like, potentially even before the end of, like, the year. Worst case scenario. The, luckily, at the moment, there's a bunch of minute barriers to go for. Welcome. Even if some of them are only barely possible, one flat in this category... Like, 216, I think, in all tokens. Uh, 119 in no major glitches. Um... 
well, actually, that's uh, but still, that's like that's three uh, three categories that could go to the next minute potentially. So that's something. Oh, and if I got a god run in Hundo, I guess I guess I could get two twenty three. Uh, weenie out of bounds, but it is, like, the worst fucking trick ever. Like, it's so, so fucking bad. Words really don't do it justice. If that's ever done in runs, never gonna see past Weenie again, I swear. Weenie out of bounds saves six seconds, but you'll never, you'll never save six. The, like, how fast you can even get out of bounds is, like, it, 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 it uh, fluctuates a ton. Like, it fluctuates a ton. It is possible to, to land out of bounds so slowly that you basically just automatically don't save anything, and you haven't even finished the trick. Uh Manager coming through. Yeah, no. The, the, the it's the trick is really bad for a lot of reasons, but it, it's only being viable viable. It being most viable in only a couple categories is what hurts it a lot. With rub it up skip you doing like everything, but with this it's not viable in categories where you need to, like, load out of Weenie, so if a category doesn't do BBBH forwards, then it's just off the table. If, if a category grabs extras, it's off the table. So it's basically just fucking frogfish early powers and fucking no polish storage that can do it reliably. And it's not reliable, it's just most reliably. Okay, so I did a log of getting out of bounds with Weenie, right? I got 12%. I got a 12% of the time. And that's not even factoring boat bounce, which I get like two-thirds of the time. And it's not factoring how fast you actually do it, right? Again, save six. On average, when I get out of bounds, I lose like two seconds off of a perfect one. And then on, on average with boat bounce, I lose like two to three. So I've just saved like nearly nothing. Even if I do get it, which is like literally never. This is the most inconsistent trick of all time. Even even after killing run after run after run after run after run, even if I finally managed to get it to work, I'd most likely just save like two seconds or less. So it might genuinely never get added in runs. When there's two parts of the trick and one of them barely reaches 10% consistency. If I grinded it, like, every day by now, maybe I could have gotten it more often, but that doesn't change the fact that, like... I doubt I'd even be getting it half the time on its own, let alone bow bounce, and, like, actually doing it optimally. I would love to do the time save, it looks awesome. Makes Weenie, like, way more interesting, but... It's probably never being done. Not to say that it, it, it's, like, impossible RTA or anything, but I I don't like having golds where, like, I, like, physically can't beat them. And I know I have a couple like that anyway, but that's only by, like, a second. This would be by six, in theory, or, like, maybe even more than that. And if I just g get the gold once and then never again, like, what's, you know, like what's the point? Oh yeah, there's also, um, there's two more theoretical time saves that I can, uh, three more that I can think of, actually. First of all, um, well, there's a route called Steamed earlier, but it isn't done very often because it only saves half a second, and relative to its difficulty, it's not really worth it. There is a way that you can get it to save an additional second, but the strat is really hard, so not being done in runs. Then, there's Patrick XD boost in SCDA. It's RNG dependent, unviable. Then finally, is like, uh, fastest strats for Neptune. It's so fucking hard that it's not reliable. So yeah, none of the time saves that we could do are RTA viable, really. There's like a strat where, like, if you... 
when Neptune is trying to shoot you, if you, like, stand in front of the statue and then, like, jump just before he shoots, you, you skip having to, like, walk up to him. And, and you can do it, like, four times, I think. Um, so it saves, like, a second. Oh, which head? Yeah. Right, anyway. You can, like, stand in front of the crab statue and jump at the right time when Neptune shoots the statue. But it's really hard. You have a small window and you, and you, uh, ideally you do it, like, four times or something. And it's just not consistent to get it four times. Like, I struggle to get it twice. So... Yeah, I usually get one at the beginning of streams and I click on them. It's very cringe. Uh, if you do it, like, every single time, it saves, like, a second. Anyway, howdy, Cotton. How is it going? I'm doing okay, thank you. Also, thank you for the good luck. Um, I finished, like, a 101.32 earlier. I was just talking about how all the remaining, like, things I could add to the run are not RTA viable. <laughs> Well, funny you say that. I was I spent like two at like two and a half hours last night looking for shit. I think there might be a theoretical strat, the sandwich driving that could save maybe like twenty seconds or fifteen or something. But we don't even know if it's possible, and honestly, it most likely isn't. But there's a short invisible wall. Like they like. I okay. So just after sandwich out of bounds, there's like a a, a short wall. And there's rocks next to it, so in theory, if we could bounce off the rocks, we could, like... Because because the invisible wall is about as high as, like, the tallest rock, so if we could just get up to the rock, then we could just drive past, we could drive through. There's no checkpoint. There's no checkpoints that we'd be skipping, which is a good thing. And then we save, like, 15, 20 seconds. But we don't even know if it's possible. I found it. I found that that might be possible last night, and then I showed it to Latte, and then... Uh, he said he forgot to see if it's possible. So, yeah, that's still... You know. Another one is VMS. Uh, it has no useful applications. We don't get enough height to go to, uh, to skip SCDA floating block. Um... A way to grab the the weenie lap three key earlier would be really really good, but we we tried getting some people involved in that. I just can't find shit. Con, if I grinded them for like a hundred hours, I, I don't even think. I, I think like maybe the Neptune one I could get it consistent after a billion hours of grinding, but if it takes that long, I might as well just pull my hours into runs. Um, we do more bounce in plank as Spongebob, and then we ball the conveyor belts, and they fucking shoot up like a rocket. But, um, we can't- it just isn't enough. And that is the- that is, like, pretty much the only VMS setup we've, like, actually found as well. And we just get just not enough distance. We get enough height, not enough distance. Movie VMS is literally free. You just fucking hold a button and, during the load. So it's so sad that we can't even use it. Ah, uh, yeah, we, we can't stand on ball. Is the game is bad. Unironically, our path to victory there might genuinely be ball storage combo that makes the conveyor belt shoot even higher up. But that's such copium. Might as well try and find Hans to Sable while we're at it. Oh yeah, speaking of like... Theory stuff actually. We found out that if you delete Goofy Gooba from existence, his triggers disappear, so you can... 
treat Sunday like an IL, and it saved like 40 seconds. Uh, only issue is that that would absolutely require ball storage, and we haven't found a ball storage combo that can disable him. Sure not to touch these, or There's no SpongeBob pickups, it's just exclusive to the uh, little mini games, little challenges. I found one. All my rub it up skip setups have been fucking shoddy today. I guess it's fine as long as it works. I don't see Invisi Cray really giving us any results either. I'm so fucking desperate for time saves. I was looking in Industrial Park last night, but like... And again, there's that theoretical sandwich driving one I mentioned earlier, but other than that, it's just like nothing. At least there's time saves in some spots for some niche things. Uh, Sky found an 11 second time save for BBBH All Extras and Early Powers All Extras. So that's something. Yeah, basically, uh, uh, a damage boost into uh, an ice cube to get the throwing fruit uh, extra early in the saves. 11 seconds, I think. Was it 11? It was either 9 or 11, I can't remember. But either way, it saves a lot. 11, yeah. And that was with a buffer, by the way. And if anything, it looks easier than, like, the standard strat. Because uh, it ends Patrick's slam animation faster. Because he he begins like you know getting back up like in mid air, which is what I also try to do just before disco. It saves like point two, at least in disco. I don't know how much it saves with the other one. That's best. Oh my god, twinsies. Maybe I'm too pessimistic about, like, discovering shit, but, like, we're, we're very limited on the tech, and, like, we're, I'm literally using Industrial Park to fucking... You know how desperate I was for time saves before? I was using TSSM Archive to just even compare lines and grabbing a Nitro or not grabbing a Nitro or, like, where to use the Nitro. 
So fucking desperate, I was just looking for fucking frames of time save. And that was a while ago as well. Yes, actually, I sent one to Clicks a while ago. But I'd have to scroll up a lot for that, I think. Actually, if I do Control F VMS, then maybe I can find it quicker. But I don't- I don't know if I said VMS, that's- that's the thing. I might have just posted the video. Hey, do new Briv. Roll F, VMS. Okay, I found it. I think. Yeah, no, this is it. And then I guess I'll send it to you. We've never messaged each other. That's weird. Um, also, one thing to keep in mind with, like, the, on the only theoretical application of this seems to be float uh, SCDA floating block. Um... To okay, so the the are you ready kids text gets in the way, so you have to you you have to have already entered the level. Um. Yeah, it, it would also allow us to just not worry about ice physics glitch. I had a run earlier, um, not not even an hour ago that I lost ice physics glitch and frog version was really fucking annoying. Y you have to like. When this spit coming your way, you have to, like, purposely, like, kind of tiptoe around and, like, purposely lose time so that the spit goes away so that you can slam the tongue. Otherwise, we, like, we could just be more, a lot more aggressive in Frogfish, which would be nice. Would be a nice little bonus. Uh, no, uh, well, you can use it for the lava extra, but just using the ice, uh, just throwing the ice is faster. By, like, a few seconds. It, it's also, um, you could, th in theory, you could also use it for a... Pseudo floating block skip and now they're a man. Just barely can't reach the platform. Just barely can't reach it. It's so fucking close, but I've never been able to make it. Your files are too powerful. Thanks. 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 I can't send it. Alright, you know what this means? YouTube, upload video. <laughs> Fucking hate Discord. Up uploading a video while live. Hopefully my internet doesn't fucking kill itself. It should be fine. I had Discord Nitro. I must have ran out. I swear, like... Okay, well, anyway, just look at that whenever it processes. Oh, okay, I f okay, I forgot 8 megabyte video exists. I forgot. Welcome. I haven't had to use it for two weeks, because I'm living the good life. I, I just don't think there's any way good to use a ball boost as a uh, monumental area, but maybe I'm wrong. I mean, well, especially in this fucking category, like, where are you, where are you gonna ball, you know, but... My, my thingy's only 16 megs, I don't know how it's above 25 megabytes. But yeah, they increase it to 25. If this SD-101 jump even theoretically exists, it may be terrible. 
Yeah, but what really matters right now is just finding time saves. We can worry about how bad it is later. <laughs> This looks like a job for PAL 360. Hey. I just looked in discoveries. Why did you swing so many times? Because I didn't know. Latte Shrimply needs to invest in a PAL 360. It's kind of base guy. PAL is pretty insane. It also sucks dick, but I mean, you know. I think with 360s, I think you have to hard mod them. And even then, there's no, like, region switcher as such. You can make it region free, but I don't think it can convert regions. You'd still have to buy a PAL movie disc, I think. PAL OG would never be the most optimal console for movie. Dude, Hawk Skip would, like, actually be possible as well. And, like, maybe the fastest sandwich out of bounds. And, um... Wow, that suck. Yeah, never mind. No one look for that. Can you, like, edit Paddywagon physics? Can you, like, give it more height or something? Just to make it, like, equivalent to slower versions? Because I would imagine you can't. Mmm... I feel like... Well, yeah, I, I would expect Palo G and GameCube to have similar heights, but I would expect Palo G to have more height. I don't know, Cowden. All I know is, uh, eat hot chip and lie. Emra movie. I've- I've tried. I've tried lag. It doesn't seem to do anything. I've tried, like, just doing gen generic buffer inputs. I've tried bashing. I've tried, uh, Y plus R jumps. Just nothing seems to work. Full height. I don't know how- Dude, the paddy wagon doesn't make any fucking sense, because Al has more height than NTSC, and that's 50 FPS. I was like, what, what sense does that make? I hate movie, bro. It does- Nothing about movie makes sense.
That's a moment. I'm not feeling like a game of catch right now. Is the room that does remind me when when I was on PAL 360, like I, if I remember correctly, I had to not nitro near the ramp because I would get too much high every time. Dude, if you want to see how busted PAL 360's hide is, look at one of my old world records, like. Uh, and look, a Sunday jump. You don't even need to touch the rock. You literally just, like, fly over the fucking fence. And then switching to NTSC OG made the trick so hard that I didn't- that I- I fucking abandoned it and didn't pick it back up until... I think 2022. Which, by the way, I fucking hate that trick. Bruh, you're making me look stupid, Latte. You don't even need a nitro, that's kind of funny. So if you accidentally burn through them all, it doesn't even matter. You would just go for it. Although, unfortunately, um, NTSC GameCube is faster for Sunday. Which also makes it, like, the worst fucking thing ever. I was re-watching my analyzing sliding and driving ILs video. And I just like really had to appreciate like how hard it actually is to get 244 Sunday. The most insane thing ever, bro. It takes a miracle to even get to like to even get to lap three in the first place. Tell me about it. When I was running the game on three, like, everybody thought I was just really bad at driving, and it was literally like, no, like, the fucking sandwich is slow as fuck. I was getting, like, 236 sandwich driving time challenges. Like... Although a really weird thing did happen with 360. Um, in Sandwich Driving, Chad was able to get times. I, I think he even got a 230, I'm pretty sure, on 360 for Sandwich Driving. Which made us think for a second, like, what if 360 actually doesn't slow you down? But honestly, I think it's genuinely more likely his 360 has an emulation bug where, like, the sandwich goes faster than it's supposed to. Either that or he's the best driver of all time for some reason. Hmm. Yeah, it's... I do not miss that paddy wagon. No siree. Oh, I just remember. I just remembered a really old strat. It it it's been completely forgotten because I found it and really document it. And I was only able to get this to work on PAL 360. I was never able to get it to work anywhere else. So listen up. Listen up. When I went to upgrade a move, I would spam the fuck out of star and select. 
and very not not often at all, but occasionally I could get it to skip the FMV entirely. And I found that in 2018, I think. But yeah, I I haven't really tried that much since, especially not on NTSC uh, OG. But it's probably only possible on PAL 360 anyway because it's so laggy. And also, it like even when it does successfully work, it like fluctuates like how fast it takes to work. That is unfortunate, Latte. Um... At least I had the idea anyway. I guess it was good to tell you about it. Because imagine if it did work and I just didn't tell you. Um, also... Bungie boosting, I think, requires guitar. I'm pretty sure. And any category where you have guitar, you literally just do a lag clip in the combat afterwards. So there's no point. Um, I don't remember. <laughs> I think you needed to get a boost off the ball or something. So, like, like some sort of R clip thing. I don't know. Some, uh, some, I don't know. Has anyone in movie ever tried a, a DCB? I wonder if we could do a DCB. But like you don't ball when you hit the wall, like you, you like you ball, and then you go like in front of the ball, and then as it pushes you in, you guitar. I wonder if you could get a boost like that. Oh, yeah, I don't know, something, yeah, something like that, I don't know. Stedge. Two point five, that's sad. That would have been cool as fuck. I'm pissed about my BBVHIL, I got exactly ten flat. But like I golded everything except for combat, which I was only like I d yeah, I, I didn't wanna bother with that. It was just like nine fifty nine was like only barely possible, so I was just like fuck that dude. No chance. No one's gonna try and beat it anyway. Nobody even tried to beat my 11 minute BBBH, so nobody's gonna beat my 10 minute BBBH. I just wanted to get times good enough to where, like, no one would ever even, like, try the, the, the ILs.
Kind of tired. It's hard being a movie runner. <laughs> Oh yeah, by the way, um, slightly touching a topic from earlier about, like, because I, you know, when talking about theory stuff, I think I briefly mentioned Hans Disable. Even if we had Hans Disable, I don't even think it'd be fast in this category unless we could use it in Rock Slide 1. But if the idea with it is to do it in Rock Slide 2, I don't even think it'd be fast in this category because I'm, like, the slowest token that we get after Now the Men is Guess 2. And it's like a minute and a half split, and it would take forever to drop down the thing in Rock Slide. And I highly doubt the Hans disabled. God, dude, this never fucking works. I doubt the Hans disabled setup would be a zero second setup. This game is discouraging, and not just because this trick is cancer. Because the only backtracking tokens we get in uh, after Navo and Man are uh, Throwing Fruit, which is 50 seconds, SCDA Floating Block, which is like a minute 15 or a minute 20, and uh, technically when you count the backtracking for it, SCDA Sponge Bowl, but we literally need it anyway, which is like a minute 10 or something when, when that's all factored in, and uh, Guess 2, which is like a minute 30 something with uh, Guess Jumps. I also figured out recently that, like, a theory route that would skip, like, ne the beginning of Navo Men's, we'd only bowl, and then we'd go back later. It wouldn't even be fast, because Guess Ring is slow as fuck. Or at least it most likely wouldn't be fast. Well, I mean, in Mix, you have, like, the... Don't you have, like, bowl boost, bubble boosting and rock bottom or whatever? Wait, that's another thing. We don't even have bowl boosting, a bubble bowl, but, like, you know, traditional bowl boosting. Welcome. Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The manager is here. Yeah. The actual slowest backtracking token is SD-102, but we'll never be able to do shit about that. Unless we find ways to make sandwich driving even faster. Job for a manager. Yeah, it, it's it's just rock slide, and it might not even apply to no pole storage. And if it requires pole storage, then we can't even use it in no major glitches either. At least to make Hundo and all tokens better. Yeah. Also, uh, if it is possible for Rock Slide 1, that's all fine and all, but then we have to grind a fuck ton of manlies in SCD8. <laughs> and then... I mean, that's not the end of the world, I guess, but yeah.
I don't know how fast it'd be exa I would like to see a run where just like all the hand triggers are just deleted. Yeah. In this game, uh, it isn't really a fight between the two. They get pretty equal usage, I feel like. Um, I mean, Spongebob just gets, um, uh, I guess a little more action, but Patrick, like, I mean, Patrick has, like, hot wheeling and upgraded throne shit, he's really fucking busted. Um, I, I'd argue, it's hard to say, but he might be more OP than Spongebob. Because Spongebob, um, his guitar is pretty slow compared to Cruise Bubble, even if, like, upgraded guitar is pretty nuts. And his spin kind of sucks. Battle Patrick is miserable, but luckily you don't have to use him much. Like, even casually you don't have to use him that much. It's okay, though. At least he's cool in this game. Which, like, I mean, they, they have to give him... They have to buff him anyway, because, like, that was, like, the whole point of the upgrade system. But also, be, because Sandy isn't in the game, like, you gotta do something about Patrick. I think even the devs realize, like, wow, this character kind of sucks. Um, I definitely appreciate a spinning cartwheel. They even, like, technically buffed him a tiny bit and rehydrated. Because he can attack in mid-air, and his belly attack gives him, like, a tiny speed boost. So technically, he's got, he got, like, the mildest buffs. And rehydrated, which I think is cool. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Like, well, in battle, I think even just unupgrade a cartwheel would have been nice. If you have to use Patrick, at least you can, like, stop using him faster. It, it would have been particularly nice for, uh, crystals. That is true. They do that. I'm not feeling like a game of catch right now. Patrick's only in a few levels anyway. JF, Gulagoon, Mimile, Kelp. He's only in four levels. Oh, yeah, they don't. Although, with Sandy, that's not really a big deal. I feel like Sandy's really, really fun to play as casually. I feel like casually, most people prefer playing a Sandy more than the other two. Although in a speedrun, it's a little... ...imbalanced, <laughs> to say the least. I can hardly think of any times where at a top level you use Sandy. It's only gonna be a few times.
Uh, you can you can Kawiyo onto moves, but you need to like do it in a specific way or else they zap you. So yeah, you don't you don't really use it unless you need to. That's a maxi. Sandy kind of gave me Genda Envy. He gives me Squirrel Envy. Yeah, I, w I would imagine that you do rooftops with a CB in Hundo because, I mean, he needs all the wheels. And then you can probably do the uh, bubble ball boosting strat as well to the lighthouse. Yeah, that's only if they're low enough. So, so basically, pretty much just the fucking ones at the end of SCDA if you accidentally kill the Foggers. I don't think I've missed that two. Oh, wait, no, I missed it once earlier. Yeah. Never mind. I like Sandy's uh, song about wanting to go home to Texas or whatever. You remember that one? Good song. Time to rub my dub. I rubbed my dub. What is it like, actually, then? I would imagine it to be very hot. You have to... One hundred percent tass. Is there, is there a one hundred percent tass? That sounds pretty cool. <laughs> Seven centuries is actually true, <laughs> dude. And a fucking ledge grab as well. It's actually like three seconds long. Pa Patrick's ledge grab is painful, but Sandy's ledge grab is just like. Like, you, you seriously have to contemplate, like, why you're speedrunning whenever you do a sandy ledge grab. Pretty hot and flat, almost no one speaks in a southern accent. I was not expecting that. A rape of Texas, I guess. A route's in the works, that's cool. Also, lasers. Once to enter Texas, and once during IP. I would love to see the final result. I definitely uh, want to watch that on stream at some point. The thing is, a battle though is that like there's always going to be time to save. I feel like.
always optimizations to make me thinks. Also, I'd imagine routing I know to be like the worst thing ever because you have to consider so many things. The speed of getting something, the speed of getting something with ball boosting, and then the speed of getting something with uh, cruise boosting, I would imagine. And then, like, how it would, like, fit into the route, and, like, if you fit something into the route, do you need to make any other sacrifices to make it work and shit like that? I'd imagine for it to be, like, a nightmare. Oh, yeah, Hans. I, f uh, yeah, I forgot about Hans. Man. Texas is just Florida, but wide. All I really hear about Florida is that it sucks. <laughs> so that doesn't give me high hopes. Bro, don't you get hurricanes, like, every year? And it's, like, really hot all the time. And all the Florida men are maniacs, for some reason. Dude, dude, okay. I've been here a lot today, and I've only gotten the one-frame jumps once. And when I got them, I missed rubber dub skip. So my consistency, which is this segment in general, is just really bad today. Dilemma. Yeah, and that pretty much doesn't really even count. You're playing for like a second. Setting up SBA, yeah. Funnels and Melons and Poseidon. Yeah. Can't do shit about any of those. BFB mix. That sounds pretty cool. Any possibility of a movie test within the next 50 years? Because all I'm saying, right? All I'm saying... I don't realistically expect it to be a great TAS. But, like, there, there might genuinely be, like, TAS tech that just hasn't been found yet. There, there could definitely be something under the surface. But we don't know because nobody TASs the game. And maybe maybe it could even be a situation where it has to find something and then we make it RTA viable with, like, a setup or something. That also happens in a bunch of games. I, I think a task would, like, probably... I think interesting things would get discovered, and I think maybe at least something could be turned into an RTA viable strat. After, like, you know, a lot of exploring and shit. Well, I, I just... Okay, I, I feel like movie deserves a chance, at least, right? Because I feel like it would aid uh, progression of the speed game, and I feel like there's probably more to the task than people would initially think. A lot of people would always just like, ah, uh, it would just be, uh, it would just be, uh, you know, damage, damage boosting one frames instead of bash boost or whatever. But no, I really, I don't think it would be that. I think there'd be more to it. Not really, but, like, it would be kind of nice to see if 18 is possible, I guess. Oh, wait, no. GameCube pull storage is different. In fact, the current world record doesn't even do the fastest route possible. 
I'm not sure if this is everything, but they found that doing plank combat is, like, fast, but I don't remember if it was, like, once or every time, or, like, if it was paired with anything else. Like a little, a little um, ball boost thing was found before um, around like the paddle wheels. You can get like a little boost. Not really useful in now though, man. But you know that that's just like one. And uh, tassing was tassing was used to find rubber dub skip and it was used to uh find scda fast corkscrew cycle so i'm just saying there's more than what meets the eye that being said if we could actually task on xbox that'd be five thousand times better but i have no idea if when movie zemu is going to be good Feels like it'll take a million years. They are making games more uh, compatible, though. I I looked at the broken games list a few days ago, and it and I'm pretty sure it was like seven or eight. And I checked it yesterday, and now it's a six. So they are actually like doing something with it. I feel like Xbox tasking is, like, inevitable. As long as they add the tools, I feel like it's inevitable. It's just that's not the priority. I'm going to say a never right now. In its current state, Weenie Out of Bounds will never be done in runs. Clip that and send it to Glad Jonas. Frogfish RTA Tess. Perhaps. Bro, I hate that fucking Nitro. It's so I mean, I have been wrong about saying things will never happen before, but, like, some things are just more obvious than others. I, I remember in 2018, I said that I don't think, you know, at the time it was any percent. I don't think any percent will ever have a major rewrite ever again. Literally, like, three, three hours later, I think it was, BBBH backwards got discovered. Literally, like, two or three hours. Like... And, and it wasn't- it wasn't even a case of like, oh, I'll prove you wrong, Pibble, by finding route. It was completely coincidental. It was completely coincidental. Had nothing to do with what I said. Like... How does that even fucking happen? Yeah, hi, I remember- yeah, I remember seeing that yesterday. The Shrek is perfectly playable. Not fucking movie. Um, yeah, she did no cheese smiley, although, I, I looked at the way that she did, like, that she did canyon skip, and I compared it to, like, uh, just the normal strat, and it seemed to be slower, so, I, I, don't, I don't know if that was just, I don't know. Either way, yeah, no, I mean, she did no cheese. She made us realize that truck skip was, uh, like, RTA viable. And I fucking hate that trick, but I mean, it's fast. 
saves like nothing and never works, but I do it anyway. It, it's, it saves like 0.6, and sometimes the cutscene loads too late and doesn't save time because of that, so it's not even your fault. And you could argue then, oh, what about hard drive? It is possible on hard drive, but like it's... It, for some reason, you need like even better jump spacing. So it, it removes the inconsistency, but it makes the trick even harder for some reason. Because like it, it loads like too quickly. If we switch to hard drive, it probably just drop the fucking strat. Frogfish RTA task would just find some head ass weenie propeller key strat that casually saves like an entire minute like a boss. True, Cotton. True, 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 true. I would love, I would love a weenie time save. Saves a minute as long as it's not like the worst trick in the universe, of course. Which, you know, movie discoveries and worst trick in the universe seem to go hand in hand. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. Maybe like a couple minutes. Because you wouldn't be able to do lag clips, and, um... A couple buffers, like, actually save time. It would be possible, but it'd be really, really hard to get sub hour. My face when I pause up to a token, and if anything, it should have been the one frame, but then you warp away and you don't even get the token. I love movie. I should, that, would just, that would just be the hard drive experience, like, every single run. It would, it would take, like, five years to get a run to, like, BBBH. <laughs> like, I'd rather not. How's it going, Venom? Well, this is a run. Now the men will probably kill this run like it always does. But if it doesn't, then maybe we do have a run. I just I just feel like those tokens are inconsistent by nature and you can never get all of them in a run. They never were all acquired. And that was when there were less two frames as well. There's more now. What it would actually get us to do is drop strats. It saves half a second to do 3k bungee late. Nope, we're not we're not dealing with that bullshit. We're doing it in early game now. Things like that. It's probably also not worth it to do Nathom and Bungie late. Or uh circulate. So ironically it actually begin removing skill in that sense, because we'd then we'd be reverting some strats. But, like, it would just be, like, it's just, yeah, no, nobody ever got all of them in a run, and that was when there was less of them. It would just be super overkill. So, like, with the strats that we do now as well, just not have any fucking, but it, it wouldn't, it, it would, like, hardly be even be a skill thing at that point. It would become one of those speed games where, like, it's just impossible to get all that shit 100% consistent. And so there will always be, like, a, a fucking layer of inconsistency, and I do, just do not want this game to be like that. Be uh, beating my PB would probably be quite hard, yeah, but I don't think... I don't think it would take super long or anything. I think it would take, like, a week or something, I don't know. I've done a hard drive run before, but I can't remember what the final time was. I missed, like, nearly every two frames. <laughs> I don't think it'd be that bad to get one flab, but getting 59 would seriously be a nightmare. I, I, I'd have to drop strats to just try and aid consistency. I'd have to, like, drop, like, fast sandwich out of bounds and quick crust and stuff to just even have a chance, I feel like. I mean, I guess I could try it, but I seriously... 
the no cheese one frame. It's a one frame and it has no fucking visual cue basically and it saves eight seconds. All my streams would just be resetting to no cheese one frame and then it finally works and then we just re and then I just reset the Krieg because I, I don't even buffer that as is. Okay, put, put it into perspective, right, of how bad like unbuffer two frames actually are, right? I've been obviously on and off, but I've been doing that Creek 2 frame for like over six years. Same exact setup every single time. I get it like a third of the time. Like, and that's one of them. That's one. And, and I've been doing it since 2016. Like, what does that tell you? It tells you that like... It would just ruin the game if, like, every single one was like that. The only reason it didn't ruin the game in the past was because we had, like, no strats, so we were able to, like... It was just, like, floating block skip and 3 meter and gas jumps. But now there's a lot more going on. I, I used to have this, this, uh... I used to have this rule when going for 129. If by the end, so, because there were t there were uh, three tokens I could uh, get animation skips for by the end of depression. If I didn't get two of them, I'd reset, and I would like never get the no cheese one. So it was basically just fucking. It's basically just bounce. Okay, I just got unlucky. Bounce token like waiting room, which I would only get that like sixty percent of the time. And then, and then Cone Jump just wouldn't work for some reason, and then I have to reset. I imagine that now. We'd, I'd have to be doing- I'd have to do fucking Sandwich Out of Bounds with that. This- I- I would quit the game. I would seriously quit the game so fast. If we allowed hard drive, no fucking chance. I would just instantly go back to battle. No suffering would be worth it to stick to the game. But hard drive will have to be allowed within like 10 years or something because disk drives are slowly dying. But, you know, I just won't be playing the game by then, I guess. The annoying thing is, as well, is that I could potentially see people wanting hard drive before we even need it. But, like, I'm not even being funny. I, like, I am currently, like, because Oofsta left. I'm the only fucking person who could comprehend how bad that would actually be. Top, top level runners would stop playing, which means that less people, uh, can get introduced to the game, which means less people play the game in general. Doesn't really change anything for beginners, but it fucks over intermediate players really bad. Because they can't implement things like floating block lights, it's just, they're just too hard. And there's a gigantic skill ceiling between uh, intermediate and higher level. And to the point where it's extremely discouraging and people don't even want to try and get good at the game anymore. That's all it would do. It would just absolutely fucking murder the game. And I'm the only person who could understand, I feel like. Every person, every runner who uses buffers in their run ha never has any negative things. The, the only people who have negative things to say about it don't even do them in runs. They they're hard to even learn in the first place. Like... And they don't make things free. As you just saw, they don't make things free. Literally, just then, I missed the inputs. And yet you still have people saying that it's free. Because people think that, like, that, like, 80% consistency is free. Ouch. Like... That's another thing as well. 
Of all the people who didn't like buffers, I think, like, only, like, one of them was even a good runner. It makes the game easy. And it's like, they do, and it's like, dude, you don't even do, like, three meter, like, actually shut the fuck up. Like, unironically, your opinion means absolutely nothing. It is so worthless. Your opinion does not mean a fucking thing. Y y your opinion is just, like, automatically, like, just doesn't mean anything if you're not even gonna do them. And all the people who do them like them. They're very obviously objectively necessary for this game, but I could I could see people like fighting for fucking hard drive within the next like five years. It's just like, where I'm a pal player and I don't want to import a fucking, I don't want to have to mod my Xbox and fucking get an NTSC disc and like where, and it's like, dude, I fucking have to. I didn't see me bitching. And by then, Zemu will be good, so you can just play on Zemu. Yeah, Mindy Skip got found over three years ago, bro. Same with Buffers. Well, Buffers were found before Mindy. They, they were found like a month or something before Mindy Skip. Twenty thirty movie runs be be like, ah oh, guys, I missed the no cheese one frame after reset. Ah oh, guys, I missed the no cheese one frame after reset. Oh guys, I missed the no cheese one frame after reset. Oh guys, I missed the no cheese one frame after reset. Oh guys, I missed the creek token after reset. Oh guys, I missed the no cheese token after reset. We need that. We need. We need these fucking disk drives. We need to use them for as long as possible. Also, we like basically have to allow Xbox hard drive for 100%. I mean, uh, Xbox pulse storage for 100% if we allow hard drive, and that would also ruin 100%. So that's also the incentive. Do you mean Samson B? Yeah, B. Um, well, the fastest one that we've seen, it saves like 20 seconds. I, I don't know if they can get faster than that. We try to ban B drives and people had a hissy fit. You can't ban official hardware. You simply cannot. There was like a big like hole in the logic. But like, cause like, like one thing that kept getting brought up is that nobody had gotten world records on B drive. But like, if we were, if we had to ban B drives. Would it not objectively make more sense to ban them before people start using them to get world records? If, if somebody buys a B drive, then gets world record, and then you ban it, they, they can't run the game for a few days. They have to buy another Xbox, you're just fucking them over. It would be objectively more fit to, get, to, to exterminate the problem before it can even be a problem. But then, but then they kept bringing that up as if it was like the fucking, like, the gotcha of the century. I'm just like, wow, we just fucking trampled your argument, you have no, like... You have no ground to stand on anymore, even though it's literally like, no, that's fucking stupid, because if we try to get rid of them now, they can never be a problem. That is the literal entire point. <laughs> yeah. It'd be so fucking moronic to ban them after, like, everybody buys one. It's fucking stupid. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, like, imagine if I got one flat. Because, like... 
I mean, my my time would be maybe one flat or maybe just barely off it, but, but at the very least, I'd be going for one flat attempts right now, and I would just need a couple second PB at most. And then it'd just be like, oh, but, like, the disk drives always have variance brev, and it's like, yeah, by, like, two or three frames per low, not fucking, like, half a second. Yeah. We, we, we were we were thinking about the greater good of the of the long term community. Like as a mod, you have to think of like act, you know. But it's like, uh, but what if somebody has a B drive and it's like, well, like, like probably like one person. <laughs> Who has like no other options? Like, like what seems what seems worse, right? Preventing like one person or two people from being able to play the game, and they have to buy another Xbox or whatever, or waiting until a bunch of people buy Xbox uh, B drives and then banning them, and then there are several people who need to buy another Xbox. Also, imagine if I got God Runs in all the categories on B Drive. I could just quit the game forever because as long as strategies don't get discovered, they're literally just never being beaten. I would just have I would just have World Record until the fucking Earth like disintegrates. I'm not feeling like a game of catch right now. I actually had a stroke when people were like, I don't see the point in banning the B drives. If anything, we should be allowing hard drive if disk drives are an issue. <laughs> like, again, like... I... It, 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 shouldn't ha it shouldn't have been a discussion in the server. Chris basically forced the discussion to happen. Me and Usta didn't want that. It was Chris. And it caused chaos. Again, the only people who could actually comprehend these things are the high-level runners. Which was just me and Usta. And now Usta's gone. So now it's just me. Gotta look, gotta look out for the greater good of the game, which is why I'm not even gonna try and find guitar early, even though it like almost definitely exists via ball storage. Because all it all you need to do is like flip a zero to a one or something, and then Mindy will give you guitar. So it absolutely should be possible, but I'm not even gonna try because it just ruined you no know, ball storage, for example. And no one should ever look for it because it would just ruin the category. This category is already, like, a tiny bit arbitrary as is. We can't afford to have, like, another, like, split, you know? If this category gets fucking, um, guitar early, it's it's just done for. Like, we, like this no pull, this no pull storage, as you know, it just dies. Like, it just can't exist anymore. Which means that, you know, half the run is no poor storage, half of it is early powers, and it fucks the pacing, and early powers is just a better category at that point. So, yeah. I mean, like, with guitar early? Um, yeah. 43 tokens. Well, I mean, it won't get found as long as nobody tries to. Also, I'm pretty sure I didn't get that. Yeah. 
again, like, like I said earlier, in, like, the middle-ish, like, like, a chunk of my streams are always just, like, just never getting a run going. I always get runs going at the big towards the beginning of the stream. Usually towards the end of the stream, the middle, just a fucking mess. If it exists, I hope it's like only PS2, because PS2 seems to tackle a different part of memory with ball storage. Technically, we I don't think we've seen any proof that ball storage can flip a 0 to a 1, right? Welcome. Because all it does in Knucklehead is like delete text boxes or whatever. Like it deletes like Mindy's conversation, but like, I don't know. Oh yeah, by the way, did anyone here know that GDQ is on right now? Because, like, I didn't even know. <laughs> until, well, it, it's been going for, like, two or three days, and I literally just didn't know until the day of the, that the event started. I, I don't really have any interest in GDQ. I did control F SpongeBob and there were no results. Also, I did control F Super Mario, and there are 10 Super Marios, and seven of them are Super Mario Maker 2. Because of course they fucking are. That game's hardly even a speedrun. Fuck off. But for some reason, events just love that game. I don't know why. I know there's, like, a fun, like, random factor to it, but, like, dude, come on. Yeah, I, th I think they're just races. The remaining three Super Marios are Super Mario Bros. War Plus One-Handed. Okay. Um, Super Mario Odyssey. Okay. And... Hold on, I'm 50. Super Mario 64 Randomizer, if I remember correctly, by Chrisom on Virtual Console, when the community hates Virtual Console. And Chrisom is mid as fuck in the game. You would have thought that 120 style would just be like a like a fucking mandatory staple or something, but apparently not. Hold well on. Super Mario. Yep. Super Mario Maker 2 Relay Race. 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 Fuck off. And then... Yeah, ra randomizer 70 star non-stop. Like, okay, I, I okay. The person doing the run doesn't have to be the world record holder, but that man is so mid of the game. He is so average at the game. And he's playing on Virtual Console, and the community doesn't even like Virtual Console. And it's why is it fucking non-stop randomizer? That's so weird. Why can't we have 120 star at the very least, or even like a 70 star race or something? That'd be fucking cool, dude. I remember when they did a 70 star race like years ago. Uh, Punk H, he's simply and Benny. That was cool. I like that. Yeah. There's a Mario Maker relay race. Keep in mind, like, movies, like, never gonna get into GDQ. But rest, rest assured, Mario Maker 2 makes it in every single goddamn time without fail. One thing I was told, though, is that, um... This might sound bad, but I forgot what first, what, for what speedrunning event it was. Uh, but I basically got... Uh, I think it, it, might, it might have been ESA, I'm not sure. Um... But I basically got told, uh, if I submit a movie to the event, it basically, like, just automatically get verified. But then I'd have to actually physically attend the event, so, uh, yeah...
That's fair. I used to watch it a lot more. I, I used to just, like, have it on one monitor while I was playing Minecraft or something. Those were the good old days. Speedrunning was a lot more magical when you weren't, like, good at a game, you know? Um, but even then, like, it's just... I, I don't, I don't want to sound like a dickhead, but I, I do kind of think it was a bad decision to make the chat, like, slow mode and sub only and shit, because, like... I know it's all for, like, charity at the end of the day. But it makes everything, like, a lot less exciting. Um, you know, any any boring stream is automatically good when the chat is just going off, and the streams were actually entertaining, and the chat was going off, so it was, like, it was great on both sides. And I think it was to stop, like, you know, kind of hate speech and stuff, but, like, I don't know, I, I just, it just doesn't feel the same anymore. It feels a lot more corporate, I guess, and it feels more about you know, catering to normies. I sound like a Redditor, but like... Anyway, since then, I've only watched a few runs, you know. Battle, uh, Majora's Mask, SM64, Odyssey, Mario Kart Wii, I think, one time. That was cool. Other than that, not really anything. True. Well, th there would be other things, too. Um, when literally just, like, a black person would just be on the screen at all, people would post, like, tryhard. Like, just spam it for the next, like, ten seconds. Wait, but, but that being said, I don't necessarily think that that, pr that probably wouldn't happen now, because people in general are, like, less edgy than they used to be. That This was back in, like, 2015. I feel like that pro It might happen still. I don't think it'd be to the same extent, though. Uh. Whenever, like, a trans person was on the screen as well, they'd post some other emote. I can't remember what emote it was, though. Hello, Kiel. How are you doing today? Maybe I should look at the, at the list and see if there's anything I'm interested in. But it's not something that I'm going to stay up at, until like 4 a.m. to watch, you know what I mean? You know, if 120 stars not there, then that's already like, you know. Um... Somebody needs to make a Legend of Zelda movie hack, and, and then it'll just, like, automatically get into GDQ. It's, they'll, just, they'll just read Zelda, and it's just like, yep, accept. Although I haven't actually seen the, re the rejected list. I, I actually don't know what's been submitted to GDQ. So maybe I should, like, take a peek. I don't know. Uh, like, rejected from GDQ. Maybe I should take a peek. Uh, I'm doing... I'm doing okay, thank you. I, I got a run that was close to world record earlier, so that's cool. But now I'm sucking eggs. What is on here? Um... Attack on Titan? That's a game. Oh, Banjo-Kazooie. Oh wait, where's the schedule? I need the schedule. I need- I need to I've already missed some stuff that's like looks kind of interesting some Zelda. Cracking eggs. Yeah, some people mentioned uh, my title, but I'm just quoting uh, the Sneeko clip. I'm surprised my thing even lets me say like I'm trans and I'm gay. I don't know, I just thought it'd be like Twitch wouldn't let me or whatever. Yeah, well I just, I literally typed in GDQ schedule. It might just be fast if you to like look it up instead of me sending you the link.
but yeah, I think one part of it is I've just gotten good at speedrunning, and I feel like that really kills the magic of uh, speed games. I said this before, but went back in like 2014, I did like a battle, like 20 spatula speedrun or something, and I did it on PAL PS2, and it was so, and it was just really enjoyable. You know, I, I there was some stuff where I just, you know, I, I didn't know any tricks, I didn't know any glitches, I didn't know any exploits. My movement would have obviously been terrible, didn't do any damage boosting, I literally just just played, you know? And it was fun, it was magical. I, I think my time was like a little over an hour or something. And like... I can't do something like that again, I just- I comprehend speedrunning too much, if that makes sense. Like, I- I- I don't know, I- I just... I- I prob- I probably did, smiley. <laughs> I most likely did. Um... I just- I- I did, like, JF, Downtown, Goolagoon, Poseidon, Trido, Mimula, and I was done. I don't know why I didn't think- Oh yeah, it was because it was a 20 spatula speedrun, yeah, no wonder I didn't do it with Um... But I don't know why I thought it'd be fast to do Robo Sandy. I mean, I know I can do Tree Dome and Mimile, but like, if I'm only getting 20 spatulas, you know, I can get... I have a leniency of 4 from the first 3 levels, minus come back with the Cruise Bubble. I, that being said, as a kid, I, I'm pretty sure I didn't know how to do Connect the Towers. Yeah. Well, that that's shown just by how uh, JF2 is not even in, like, any percent routes anymore, right? Even, even, even though the last, like, three spatulas are, like, stupid fast. In, like, 2014? Don't think so. Oh, um, back, back in the day, though, I did try to, like... Uh, learn the run. I just learned, like, JF and, and Downtown. I was watching Cole and Hazel's, like, really old runs. And they were- and in the- in, like, the very first runs, they were doing Hammer Skip. And I tried it, and I got it on my very first try. <laughs> that was fucking nuts. Yeah, Cardin, the, the spatulas are, like, not very strict after Hub 1, but they're very strict in Hub 1 for some reason. I knew I was in for a bad time when I when I went into JF and there's, like, fucking 20 chucks and oils slicks everywhere. Hello, Trooper, how you doing today? Troop, these nuts. Alright, it's Tuesday today, right? Um, and it's being converted to my time zone, so I go to 9pm. Bastion Returnal, the end, the Elder Scrolls anthology, I don't care about that. Um... I haven't heard of, like, m almost all of these games that are on the list. That's not me saying that the games are bad or anything, I just, like, I just haven't heard of most of the games. <laughs> Maybe there's been a rise in certain speed games over the past few years. Maybe just some, like, you know. Uh, oh, Shadow the Hedgehog. On Thursday, well, my time, twelve fifteen a.m. Maybe I could, maybe I could watch Shadow the Hedgehog. Um, Sonic Adventure DX, maybe I watch that. Oh, it's all stories relay. That sounds pretty good, actually. Hmm. Yeah, I know Gary's back. He's been in my chat a few times. Yeah, Cobden. Battle's backtracking is really confusing because, like, there's so little of it, it makes me wonder, like, why they even bothered. In terms of backtracking, like, Bubble Bowl and, and Cruise Bubble, there's Come Back with the Cruise Bubble, uh, and then there's, like, those two socks in JF, and then that's it. That's literally, like, all the backtracking.
Yeah, I if I go back to the game, I just plan on stealing like a like a maybe like a top five route. Maybe just tweaking things, but I, that's what I plan to do. It's like 400 million routes. I don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing for my skill level. You know what I mean? M making a battle tutorial at this point is practically futile because it'll be obsoleted in fucking three months anyway. So there was a point. <laughs> My fucking no pull sword tutorial is still pretty good, even if it's missing some stuff. Yeah, it's true. And even then, casually, I'd always leave rock bottom to like game with a cruise bubble because I hated the sleepy times. I don't think I knew what sneaking was somehow as a kid. Ooh, Paper Mario. Oh, but that's a 7 a.m. I'm not fucking watching that. I'll be awake at, like... By the time I actually, like, stop practicing, it'll be, like, 1 o'clock. Okay, so I think I want to watch uh, Shadow the Hedgehog. Oh, there's Majora's Mask, but it starts at 3 a.m. Eh. I'm not I'm not watching that. Fucking... I mean, I could watch it for a little bit. I guess... But is it just me, or is GDQ, like, basically always behind schedule? Like, it'll probably not be three, it'll probably be, like, four. Yeah, it does lay the foundation to, uh, learn harder stuff, yeah. It's just, a, like, just making new splits every time you want it, like, you get better at the game. Might be a pain in the ass, but I guess that's that's why people have a bunch of splits. Is so that, like, it's easier to transfer shit. Yeah, Cotton. A lot, a lot of the backtracking in movies, like sliding and driving and guitar challenges. I mean, there's also a throwing through in Creek, but, like, yeah. It has, it has more backtracking than battle, but that's not a fucking good thing. When was the tutorial made? Twenty twenty. Early twenty twenty, fucking hell. Um Ah, uh, it says eleven. Pepsi Man. Ooh, I could watch Pepsi Man. That'd be cool. Cat in the Hat. I'm not watching that. Okay, so I think the only things I'd want to watch on Thursday Shadow the Hedgehog, Sonic Adventure DX. Um, Pepsi Man, I think. Welcome. You probably could. I mean, when, when I played Battle for a very, like, literally, like, a couple days in 2020, I just took Sky's route, and I think I replaced, um... I think I replaced, uh, Kids with Goo Cage, I think. Or, I mean, the, uh, replaced Goo Cage with Kids, maybe? I don't, I don't remember. I, I did something like that. And I think I moved, uh, like... Well, you'll skip to early game or something. I don't know. I would say that maybe another one should be made, but it's gonna get outdated again anyway, so it's the most point. What about it? This is a job for a manager. Bro just face planted into the wall and said this is this looks like a job for a manager.
There's like nothing I'd want to watch on Friday. Ah, oh, Pokemon Coliseum. That's so based. Pokemon Coliseum, bro. That's actually really cool. And it'd be after stream as well. I, I, I don't know what days I'm taking off this week, by the way. I took off three last week, but I'm giving myself that because, um... I worked out a while ago that I, if I still wanted to do, like, a, f a five streams a week system, I actually was technically owed a day a couple weeks ago, and I didn't take advantage of it. And then last week, I took, uh, three days off. So... Technically... I can still take two days off this week. I, I want to stream tomorrow, because tomorrow's apparently the coldest day of the week, so I want to take advantage of that. Um, so I, I might take Thursday off. Like, maybe, like, Thursday and Sunday. I don't know what to do for next week's sub-goal, or this week's sub-goal, rather. I haven't doing sub-goals for, like, five weeks. I'm thinking of chilling for a bit, but I still owe, like, 16 things, I think. So can I chill? This is a job for... Yeah, I, I, I saw that card, and I was really confused by that. Hey. Uh, well, I'd like to wake up now. That reminds me of, um, when Zack, uh, did battle. I think it was called, like, Dreamhack or something. And I'm pretty sure he had, like, a 110 estimate. I swear to God, he got, like, a 117 or something. And, and, and that's not the only time that's happened, by the way. Chris. Chris. <laughs> I just say the word Chris, you already know what's gonna happen. Um, I think his PB at the time was like a 57 or a 58 or something. He did a battle any percent run for some marathon. I think it was called like speedrunning result or something like that. And um, he, he made the estimate a 102 and he got like a 109 or something, which is really funny. <laughs> I would probably, I'd probably pussy out to make the estimate, like, 110. If I, I could, I could see myself getting an abysmal run again in, like, a 105 or a 6, so I'd probably, I might as well just make it, like, 110. Especially because then, uh, I might be able to show, like, one cool thing off or something before I have to, like, usually if you finish underestimate, like, they let you do a cool thing real quick, and I'd want to show off, like, box state or VMS or something. Uh, yeah, something like that, yeah. I sh I'm- if I remember correctly, he missed Dilemma Skip for, like, an entire fucking minute. I was part of some races, and I did enjoy doing them, but the game is completely different now, I mean... I don't even know if people do races anymore, but even if they did... I'm so far behind in- with the time- I need to get with the times, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, by the way, hello, Kira, how are you doing today? Hope your day's good. Also, I bought a knockoff Prime, and I'm gonna try it at some point, so I'll let you know how it is. I bought it out of curiosity. Maybe there should be, like, another battle tournament, or even just, like, a race My or something. Oh. Kira, bro, thank you very much for the Prime beverage subscription for nine centuries. Welcome back to the Pipple Foundation Relations. I appreciate that. Dude, okay, that's another thing I really, like, you know, I'm sad about. I never really learned a speed game, like, alongside someone, and that made me sad. I, I was doing Shower Friends, Simpsons Hit and Run. I was doing Shower Friends. 
but like Raj and Tedious, but they were both kind of like better than me anyway, so it wasn't really like it was playing alongside, but it wasn't really like you know. I was never able to really race anybody ar around my level for any speed game, really, and that that always sucked. Um. Yeah. Dude, I, I hated racing him because he'd always reset in JF or downtown. He would he would always do it. I'm not joking. We we must have tried to race like 20 times, and I remember him finishing like one or two runs. Like he could not finish runs to save his life. Got the plus seven splits, boys. I miss being, like, really bad at battle. It was, like, really fun. Like, it was just fun. You just do, like, two Sam Mountain slides and just, like, do really casual shit. It was fucking great. Being good at speed games kind of sucks, I'm not gonna lie. Like, it takes away all the magic, I guess. But now I feel like I can never get back, like, that feeling, you know? Even if I play a game that I'm bad at, I still have speedrunner brain, and I still... Even in casual games, I try to cut corners and stuff quickly. I just can't be like a normie anymore. When speedrunning was like most fun. So the only place left to go now is just to optimize the fuck out of a game. Because what else am I going to do? This is the bet next best thing. I, I didn't tell any of my friends, my, any of my IRL friends about speedrunning because I didn't want to get bullied in school. <laughs> Cosmic Shake was fucking tragic. Hover saved way too much time and, like, it just invalidated, like, a lot of skips that could be found. It was literally just fly to the- it was basically the equivalent of fucking selective moon jump. Like, of course it was gonna fucking kill the game. <laughs> You know what I mean? Also, yeah, Havilus was added too late, I definitely agree. I- you know what's funny, though? I was- I was seriously worried. Uh, I was very worried that Cosmic Shake was going to overshadow movie and kind of suffocate this game and kill it. Like, slowly. My very first stream back after the game came out, my stats were looking really nice. And also, just in general, like, yeah, everybody stopped giving a fuck about the game after, like, two weeks. People were asking me if I was gonna run the, the game, and I was like, you know, if there's a Havilus, I'll consider it for sure. But it just got added too late, and I just don't give a fuck. I just don't care anymore. If I stream Cosmic Shake, I could get, like, seven viewers, bro. Like, <laughs> no one, no one, the viewers don't care, the runners don't care. It died faster than Rehydrated. Because, like, Rehydrate, it was cool to see, like, what it could do that was different from Battle. Cosmic Shake was, like, just, it had too much. The, the objectives were too linear, and it was just too easy to skip everything. People do watch me for movie. I can assure you of that. When I switched the battle, my stats, like, dropped, like, pretty much instantly, and they never recovered until I came back to this game in 2020. Yeah, but people don't watch for me, they watch for movie, that was what I'm saying.
I'm pretty sure I missed it again. Oh my god, dude. Uh, I've missed it three times and two of them are in a row. And now I'm like an awkward amount into the stream to where I don't want to actually finish a run anymore, but I still have like a full ass hour left. Vertical momentum storage, don't mind if I do. Hand time. Hand time is, uh. Cool. Uh, it kind of just made me think, like, I, I thought of it as, like, a bed of sunshine. I did actually try to learn the game. But I never did in the end. How much high do you get off of this? Nothing. Nice. I was expecting, like, some boost. Uh, guys, do you, do you think I'm gonna watch Super Mario 64 Randomizer 70 non-stop Wii VC by Chrisom? Uh, eight p uh, at 8 a.m. on a Saturday. Do you guys think you're gonna do that? Which, by the way, for EST, that's 3 a.m. Why is it such a bad time? GDQ fell off. Ooh, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. I'd probably watch that. Welcome. Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The manager is here. I, I really like hand time, by the way. Hand time is fucking great. Uh, you guys... Well, actually, you guys might not remember. I, well, you might, you might not. I don't know. Um, Fuff used to have hand time world record. Which is pretty nutty. Prepare. 3D platform is a great, honestly. I feel like it probably is my favorite genre. Especially if they like collectathons, because there's so much like routing stuff, but maybe that's speedrunner brain talking again, I don't know. I want a SpongeBob RPG. They'd probably make it like too easy though. I I bet I have a Pokemon problem. You know how like in Pokemon runs you can just spam X items to get through a battle. You can probably do something similar with like like maybe maybe SpongeBob has some sort of charge attack and you just use it for like every fucking battle. But again, that's speedrunner brain. I think casually that could be pretty good. Um, however, that that movie RPG concept mod, I think about it all the goddamn time. Oh, fighting game? I don't care for fighting games, personally. Also, they're probably not going to make a SpongeBob fighting game, because, um... Uh, there's already Nicktoons fighting, or whatever. Nicktoons, whatever the fuck is called, and it has SpongeBob and Patrick in it. Uh, I don't remember who made it, but somebody made an RPG concept, like, turn-based thing against, like, a Fogger, and it actually, like, works pretty well. Every time Atlantis DS gets brought up, I feel shame for not playing the game, but I also always forget, or can't be bothered. Am I supposed to play Atlantis DS when I'm watching anime? Watched an amazing anime recently, by the way. Fucking insane. I gave it a 9 out of 10. It's really, really good. 
if you want to know what it was, you can uh, redeem an anime recommendation. Because I can highly, highly recommend it if you like Slice of Life anime. Um, it's a Slice of Life, but like... With most Slice of Life anime, they don't do enough. They're too generic to get anything higher than like an 8. But this one like really stands out and is super special and has a lot of little plots. I can't give it a 10 because... They don't really conclude that many plots, and um, a, a couple things feel a little shoehorned in. My thought is that they probably shortened some stories from the manga, or even skipped stuff. But the show kind of just ends? Like, if you had to end the show, the final episode was the best one to end it on. But it still doesn't really feel like an ending to a series, more so at most an ending to a season. And the anime came out in 2011. Also, for 2011, the anime looks really, really good. You'd think it's from, like, 2017. And some of the background visuals are amazing. Kira, thank you for redeeming Brexit. It already happened. Yeah, but you could also watch anime. Apparently, we're gonna get another Kona Super eventually, but I'm kind of doubtful. Yeah, it's like shit ages ago. It doesn't even have, like, a release date announcement yet. Collecting my watch streak chips. You could also, uh... SpongeBob. I'm pretty sure if you're active in chat, you get more channel points, right? Or am I coping? Well, Khan, I might as well play it on stream then. In a breath. Uh, don't be silly, Cotton. Of course it does. Well, Con, you might need to keep typing in my chat. Technically as Carwheel. Battle technically as Carwheel, if you count the 100% completion cutscene. Patrick just does, like, a little tiny Carwheel for a second. Movie literally ripped off Battle Brev. Battle literally as Carwheel. Damn, I sound like a 2016 battle runner already. P people were unironically saying that, by the way. They were unironically give, like when listing off reasons why movies bad. Like some people would, would counter that by being like, "Oh, a good thing was Kawhi," and then they'd be like, "Nope, nope, battle has it in the 100% completion cutscene, automatically invalid. Battle has it. Movie, movie ripped it off." Like they would unironically say that. Like, with, like, no hint of sarcasm. Ninja? Bro, I, I just remembered something. Very tragic. Very tragic backstory. I'm, I'm an anime character. I have a tragic backstory. Alright. Be me in 2018. No, 2019, right? So I was, like, 18. I was 18. Why am I so fucking old? Um, I was in Cardiff, and uh, outside of Primark, they were promoting Ninja merch. Yes, the streamer Ninja. They were promoting Ninja Fortnite merch, and I was like, holy fuck, I gotta check that out, bro. I got my ass in there. Where's the Ninja merch? It wasn't there. There wasn't even a section for it. It was just, it was just nothing. It's not like there was an empty shelf where it would have been. No, 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 it was just, nope, no, nothing there. It, they must have already sold out and just, like, kept the posters there. Do you have any idea how hard that was for me, right? Do you have any idea what it's like to live in such a tragic fucking world? This is 2019, Carden. You're too white to be anime. Anime characters are white as fuck. What are you talking about, bro? This is a job for... Like, the skin color is always, like, white as hell. Whiter than me, bro. That's why, uh... That's why there's so many racist uh, anime fans, because, like, all the characters are, like, super white. Walter White.
I don't even need to watch Breaking Bad until I need you to make another practice mod. Like like that one uh, that you're trying to that you're trying to see if it's possible earlier. Gonna need a practice mod for that one, Chief. <laughs> after it's in, finally done after ten thousand attempts. What what, what would it even be called? I don't even know. I, I would have no idea what to call that. You can maybe get away with calling a fountain skip, but like, it's a bit cheeky. My layout's perfect as is, bro. Mwah. Perfecto. I have like a fan in the background and um, it's blocking the door that I see a lot of, you know, and that's where I often see a lot of spiders, so there could be a spider there for all I know. SpongeBob. I'm actually caught, and it's 2023. Get with the times, bro. Yeah, that's fair. I've only had my layout for a bit. Like... Seth made my my layout, but like it made the gameplay even bigger and I was like dude my gameplay looks so bad They already look bad now. It looks really bad. So I need to like figure out how to get my uh, OSC and Elgato working and I did And now the gameplay looks like sex My, uh, capture card did arrive, by the way, but I haven't installed it. I want to install it and then enable Line 2X and see... Like, I just want to see how good the capture card is, and then I want to see if, like, Line 2X, like, actually works on it. I might just be able to switch to that, but I have the feeling that it might have a lot, like, more visual noise or something compared to... Uh... This, maybe, who knows, but... I'd like to give it a go, at least. Novakow fell off. Line 2x doubles the line count, and my Elgato hates it for some reason, so... Maybe new capture card can use it. It'll literally just make the- it'll literally just double the resolution. Well, not, like, yeah, it'll, like, double the lines. Brev, I literally hate these games. I think we should turn around. I think I didn't ask SpongeBob, bitch. Um Yeah, although luckily for me when I play like why well, I just like stretch it to like the whole fucking thing. It's like I do I like I did with a uh, rehydrator runs. Line 2x for OSSC. Um, should I try to do like one ETU run for a meme?
Fuck you, bro. I hate WT, bro. Like a, like a, like a. Welcome to our little tale of woe, triumph against impossible odds. Fuck you. I'm gonna do one count them, one ETU attempt. Our story begins in the calm waters above the town of Bikini Bottom. Hopefully, I have route notes. Hopefully, they're actually accurate. Because I have no idea if they are. Um. And Cartwheel Bounce Creek. Yeah, that looks accurate to me. Alright, one run. Yes, ETU, yes, boys. Welcome. Here, good citizens of Bikini Bottom, the manager is here. Yep, excitement, adventure, just another day in the life of a manager. Rev is literally cheating. Yeah, there's like some websites and even some YouTube channels and stuff that I think are called Pipple Foundation. Cleanliness is next to managerliness. Uh, I said I'd do one ETU run, and, um... Manager coming through. It's, 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 uh, Shmovin. Also, my ETU run's, like, really fucking bad. Look at my gasket it's C. And then SCDA Spongebob's D. D-Nick, D-Nick, D-Nick. I just straight up just I just didn't I just did not press. Okay, I guess we're going back to no post storage now. I don't even need to do an upgraded dentist route. Like I don't want to do it, and like nobody's gonna beat my time. So I just... same thing with like we, we figured out by the way that it also saves a lot of time in AWT to use an upgraded dentist bowl. Uh, but I'm still not doing it though. Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The manager. Is so I guess we're just doing proper attempts until the end of the stream. We're men. Well, well, yeah, I, I said that. I said that we really should consider um allowing macho upgrades for. Early powers and all world tokens. But in all world tokens, it'd be hard to uh, justify it because you can get around it and it does add skill to do and save time to. You know. There is still something that you can do. As for early powers, like, we really should allow Macho upgrades, because, like, you just don't have enough anymore if, you're, if like, you're a high-level runner. You just don't. You skip too much stuff, and even, like, weenie stack and shit won't save you anymore. You're gonna be hundreds off what you need. Well, to be fair, there's no real reason to have, like, the health be allowed. So then the only remaining one that's actually useful is, uh, Macho upgrades. But people didn't want it because, like, it, it was seen as cool and skillful to have to, like, grab manlies to upgrade shit. Because back then we were, like, doing less strats so we could get more manlies. So manlies... Like, it, it, it created a lot of different routes. There's, there's literally, like, fucking, like, eight AWT routes or something that you can do that, that are all fast. There's so many of them. And they prioritize different things, like whether or not you're doing, like, guitar clips and shit. Or, like, if you're gonna do BBBH backwards of Spongebob or Patrick, because then it, with Patrick you need to, like, you need to, you need to do Plank early. And, you know, just things like that. There's so many routes you can do. And otherwise, it'll just restrict it to, like, two routes, otherwise. But that being said, a couple of the routes are fucking stupid anyway. 
You should definitely do plank, like, early anyway, because we really need the manlies. Um, that's the only reason we do it early. I, that's another reason, probably, why people wouldn't want that, by the way. Is because then we'd just be doing everything, like, in order, and then it's, like, pretty... It's, like, kind of similar to, like, early powers. Makes it, like, less unique. Speaking of costumes... I found out recently that Patrick's Goofy Gooba costume cannot ledge grab the fucking... The tube thing in BBBH to do slide jumps. He just cannot ledge grab it. For some reason. Well, I mean, yes, guy, but... Well, APL was made after the fact, and, um... The thing is, like, the reason why I don't like AWT is because it caters to fucking whiny battle babies. But, like, like you can, you can tell, because nobody's really ran APL because it has combats, and, like, that just is the reason. Is because it has combats. Extended cheap percent uh, back in the day was a category. You would do every platforming token, but you were only allowed to warp to the first token of every level, and you could do whatever cheats you wanted. I think, or I, I mean, uh, you could only use the task. No, no, no. You no, you could use whatever cheat you wanted. You could just only warp to the first task of every level. People wouldn't run it because of Nathan Man Combat and SCD Guitar. So yeah. And, and also, while we're talking about whiny babies, AWT cruise boost codes. Those people were willing to play AWT on GameCube with the really slow loads and, and, and it can infinite load with no lag clips just so they can get a five speed cruise boost sometimes. And, and, right? Some people wanted guitars removed from the category. And, right, what's even worse than that is that some people wanted you to start fucking SCDA as SpongeBob. Why? Those are the people that we were catering to. Like, no fucking wonder the category's cancer. Like, fucking, I don't, I, I really don't want it to exist. The only reason it exists is to cater to stupid fucking children. And it, and it didn't do, and it didn't do any good. Like all it did, right? All it did. People were like, "A eh, movie's so bad, there's no good categories." And then people play AWT for 5 seconds and be like, "A eh, movie's so bad, the only good category is AWT." That's all it did. That's all it did. And it's not even good. It's not even good. They just think it's good because it's short and because you don't have to do sliding and driving. I and, and that's 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 what it really is at the end of the day. That's what it really is at the end of the day, removing the sliding and driving. But they also don't want combat arenas and they don't want Sonic Wave guitar challenges. You're five years old. You are five years old, and I fucking hate you. And then when the category, like, actually started, like, becoming difficult as, like, more routes got discovered, as more, like, lag clips and stuff got discovered. Wow, where did all the runners go? They all disappeared. I wonder why. Because if they have to do literally one thing in movie that they don't like, whether it's fill or even just a trick, they, or just anything that is, just, it, that takes any difficulty, they just don't want to do it. Which is pretty fucking ironic, you know, calling the game easy for years, but then when anything shows any semblance of difficulty, they just bail from the game immediately. They'd always do it, they do it every time. It, it was always the same people, too. Like, they, they didn't want to do, like, guest jumps in 3 meter and stuff, but then they're like, oh, the game has, like, no tricks. It's like, you're not even doing the tricks. You're literally, like, purposely avoiding the tricks, and you're saying there's no tricks. Like...
Patrick is fast in depression. That's kind of funny. Anyway, I guess that's my rant about, like, stupid fucking category made for stupid people. And it, and it didn't accomplish anything. It just, it just made people, like... I feel like it just made people dislike sliding and driving more than they already did. But, but like, it, again, like, if, if there was even, like, one thing that they just had to put any effort into, they just didn't want to do it. Now they're in combat? Nope. Nope. Not playing it. Nope. Like, fucking actual children, dude. Fucking... Ugh, I hate them so much. No. Um... I think the cruise boost mod is kind of whatever, but like, yeah, I mean, it's just whatever. You know what also really pissed me off is when people wanted cruise boosting and rehydrated. These people can't sleep at night unless every game is just like Sp SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom released for Microsoft Xbox in 2003. If it is just not that, they will fucking kill themselves. They just can't handle it. No, you don't understand. I shrimply need this fucking game to be a, an objectively worse speedrun than the than the game that already exists. I just need to make it so similar to fucking... To the original, so that there's no reason to play the remake. Please, guys, please. I I have brain cells. I can function. I'm a functioning human being, and I still somehow think this because for some reason, the the path in life, you know, I slowly building up my intelligence as, as the years go, and I still somehow came to the conclusion that that game should have cruise boosting because I'm a fucking dumbass. Like, like, unironically, how is it possible to have that opinion? Like, it, I feel like you have to be stupid. Like, there's just no other way. I hate a lot of people, if you couldn't tell. I hate a lot of people. When movie makes me slightly tilted, I just think about things I don't like. Like, like I said earlier, I was practicing quick rest because it was being a bitch. And all I could think about the entire time was how much I hate all tokens. Which, for the record, I hate all tokens. The category sucks dick. Why is it on main? Dude, I'm just like on my fucking, you know, what really grinds my gears shit right now. Cause like I, no, we can't delete AW uh, AT from main because um it's one hundred percent and it's like well then we should call it one hundred percent. Uh no, uh because um 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 like that that's what it always turns into. That that saying it's technically one hundred percent only has any meaning if we call it one hundred percent. It doesn't matter what the game considers one hundred percent; is what we call it that matters. Otherwise, one hundred percent should not be called one hundred percent. It should be called one hundred percent all extras, or like one hundred percent all collectibles, or something like that. But it's not. It's called Hundo. So all tokens is not called Hundo. Therefore, it's not Hundo, which means that not being able to remove it because it's Hundo does not mean a fucking thing. It's really quite shrimple. Ah, uh, that is a good point. And then in uh, Toss, there's just no camera options either. They, they changed the camera con uh, controls and there's no option to change it back. Like, have mercy on me, Heavy Iron. Oh yeah, they have uh, mono and stereo sound options for some reason, and they have um, screen adjustment. I don't know why though, like why it's only on PS2.
That's just how heavy I'm roll, bro. Ah, uh, they, I. This fuck is. Why? Why was there no option to rehydrate it to like unlock the frame rate? I just don't understand. Or, or even, why was it locked to sixty and not just a refresh rate of your monitor? Oh my god. Like, okay, if if they had to like, if they had to like not give you an FPS option, why would they not lock it to your monitor's frame rate, bro? I don't understand. What is up with that fucking game? And what is up with this game? With this trick? I'm shrimply pissed off right now. One frogfish for the road. My time's like probably too good. My time's annoying because I choked in frogfish, but it's still a thorax. Also, honestly, if I were to take that category super seriously from now on, I should probably like do weenie out of bounds. However, like only like 10% of the fucking runs I get to weenie would actually like get the damn trick. So I feel like there's just no point. I feel like it'd only be worth it if the run died in BBBH, but if I got Weenie out of bounds, it would recover it. I feel like that's like the only time it's worth going for. No, it's too long. I like my cock, bro. Yeah, I remember the dash for that. I didn't go for world records because, um... I felt like it'd be rude to, uh, Usta because, like, I think he was, like, taking a break from the game or something, and, like, in terms of skill, like, he was better a frogfish than me, he had more of a tolerance for it, and if I just, like, came in and swept it, like, I absolutely could have, but I just would have felt a bit bad. I did do it eventually, but only because, uh, like, other people, like, Vaz, already had the one, and, and at the time, Usta didn't say anything about coming back anytime soon, so. Yeah. My name is I don't want to play fucking old Will Jeff. Hello, Zoe. How is your Tuesday, breath? Um, thank you very much for the five months in a row of epic subscription. Uh, Poggers, wholesome Chungus, big Chungus, one hundred. Counter Reeves, welcome back to the Purple Nation relations. And your continued support is appreciated. You will have to soon. I don't think anybody's gonna try and beat my my time in that category. I think I feel like I purged late the rest, especially after I found. I don't know if everybody knows this, but um, basically, on my hard drive, I found AWT runs from September, and I completely forgot about them, and they are world record by a lot, like improvements by over a minute, basically, from the old one from 2020. I haven't watched back the run, so I don't know how good they are, but, yeah, no, I, I literally, like, I, I... I don't want to be accused of, like, holding or anything, because holding and speedrunning is cringe. I seriously didn't know that I... I didn't know I did the runs. I seriously had no idea. It was done in September, before I even changed my, uh, my setup to, like, actually look good. I think it was even before, uh, Seth gave me a new layout, even. I wasn't splicing, bro. I'm a good boy, I wouldn't do that. I'm not sure if anybody knows this, but I have a VHS tape dated from 2007. That is the first documented footage of Mindy Skip. It was really weird, like, that we didn't know about bowl storage until 2020, considering how fucking obvious it is that it exists. Like... I bet somebody on Xbox or PS2 has accidentally found, like, some fucky thing as a kid and just, like, they don't even, they don't even remember it. I'm not splicing. No way. I do need to watch back the run to see how good it is, but... I think I think now... So, it went from, like, a, a 36... 15 or something to a 34... 30 something? Um, so who, I mean, but now Sponge Glide exists, so 
Yeah. Uh, it's a quote from a Sneeko clip. I did not... No, I did not come out. Mitt Romney Bull Storage. What, what, what does that even entail? You mean like... Uh, actually, yeah, no, I just don't even know what you mean. <laughs> Besides instantly crash the game all nothing. I, I would, like, dude, we always used to, like, practice without, like, restarting the game. Um, no wonder, like, no wonder fucking Rubber Dub kept, like, crashing. I, 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 had to, I replaced my disc because I thought there was something wrong with my disc, I remember. I know who Mitt Romney is, but like, why why Mitt Romney ball storage? SpongeBob. Oh, I thought that video was like a myth. But if it was done by Minecraft freak. I need to just edit Patrick's properties so that he can go on the bungee hook. Uh. Howdy, Seth. How are you doing today? In the nation relations of the station. Hack the state then. Well, now you've got me really curious because, again, like, it just seemed like a complete myth. Like, how, like, but if it's done by Minecraft Freak, then I do believe it. Do you remember Baz State? Anyone here know Baz State? Fucking stupid name to say out loud. But does anyone know it? We didn't really believe him back in the day because we thought he was a dirty splicer, but basically... There's a video of him in Planktopolis and, and his Spongebob is like really fucking fast for some reason and he can't take damage. He's in, uh, Area 2. Like, just loaded into Area 2 and then he's like super fast. Uh, it was found in like 2016 or 17, but people kind of dismissed it because it's like, yeah, he's a dirty cheater brev in a brev. So, yeah. I don't know if the video still exists or not, but... It just got coined Bass Day by Mr. Laptop Man. But yeah, SpongeBob would just walk in fucking fast. Like, like almost like he had a cruise boost, but like, obviously, like, not pushed forward momentum. It was just like he's actually just walking fast as fuck. I must acquire Bass State. Welcome. Wanna make a movie mod, but. I'm too fucking stupid to mod movie like Jesus. Well, trial and error, right? I mean... I I'm a very slow learner, but I was able to, like, learn this game after a while. Like, if you just have some patience, I think you could definitely get results. The thing is, right, is that if you make anything, people will appreciate it. If you, if you make a mod and I can play it for five minutes on stream... You've already, you've already done enough, you know? Like, you've already... I've never played a mod that's just like, wow, I regret playing that, or like, oh, that was kind of whatever. Like, it's like, no, I've never, never felt that way. Basically, anything you make, as long as, you know, it's not stolen or something, will just be good. There aren't even, like, that many mods in the grand scheme of things. It's better to learn now, or else, you know... Before modding becomes even more complicated. Hey. Maybe I could have got through the pandemic faster if uh, I had some Subway Surfers gameplay to look at. To be fair though, 2020 went by like really fast. Like, that year sucked, but like it actually went by really fast.
welcome. Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The manager is here. Yep, excitement, adventure. Just another day in the life of a manager. So true, Sponge Ufi. It's a short slide from manager to, well, not manager. Hmm, should I play a hackeries? I might play hackeries. I'm not sure. Seth, thank you very much for the Prime Gaming subscription for an entire year. As appreciated, welcome back for the twelfth time to the Pibble Foundation Nations Relations Green Station. One year of my life gone in an instant. Dang. Yeah, life sucks. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much. Yeah, I think I'm gonna play a hackeries. Actually, I'll do one more run because then it's 75. And then if the run doesn't get anywhere, then I'll play a hack. Maybe. I don't know. I need to see what my what hacks I have. Welcome. I'd want to play something relatively, like, you know, just some of the- All the battle hacks I have, I think will take a while, so I'd probably play a movie one. Maybe, like, uh... I'm ready Spongebob or something. I have, like, a few battle ones and a few movie ones. The, the most recent battle one I played was, um, Trick or Treatin' in Downtown, and it was actually pretty good. And then the most recent movie one I played was Latte's hack, that I, I keep constantly forgetting the name of. <laughs> Um, but, yeah, there's still- I still have, like, ten hacks or something I can play. And that's not even factoring, um... The slide- uh, the sliding. There's been, like, six sliding mods made or something, and I've only played one of them. I gave up. Stuff. Okay, no, no, no. If you knew the pain, right? If you knew the pain. All I did was make a fucking counter. If you destroy all the tikis, right? You get a, you get a shiny. C can you tell me why that gave me an error code and also just didn't work? Why does it only work with a sock and still gives me an error code? Also, why does importing models... Why is it such a fucking long, annoying-ass process? Also... Um, it's too time-consuming and annoying, and, um, I, like, I'm busy a lot. I'm even gonna do movie stuff. I, I'm gonna make, like, new pay splits after the stream, and I need to highlight, a uh, gold or something. No, I need to highlight, a, uh, my 101 that I got earlier. Oh, yeah, I think I'll play a hack now. Yeah. Every single model. Every model takes like a minute. Every fucking model. Imagine a big hack. You spend like an hour just importing fucking models. In, in one location. I could have done a whole hour of movie attempts. I think my capture card is fixed, by the way, which means I pulled out a new one for nothing. <laughs> um, alright, let's see what hacks I have. M M Dolphin, M M. Why aren't you opening? Uh, where are my hacks at? Movie. I'm ready. Bull challenge. Open Sesame. Now I gotta turn the desktop audio down a bit in case it's too loud. Uh, invalid read. And it doesn't work. 
Why am I in no cheese and why is there nothing here? What? How did I fuck it? I literally just dragged the files and built the ISO. There's no fucking way I fucked them, bro. I just dragged it over. Before before I make new mods, uh, new thingies, I always make a make a fresh like unmodded like thing, and then I. Oh my god, bro! <laughs> All right, I guess we're not playing this. Please close the disc cover. How about you shut up? Uh, floating block nightmare. Yeah, there's no sponge bowl. Didn't I already play this? I've already played this. Why is it still in my list? I always delete shit after I'm done. Why is it here? I don't know. Elvis Swingers, go. We're wasting precious time. It was an I and I sky, so I'm so goddamn confused. I don't want to open from Sis, bro. I don't have dementia. I built the fucking ISO properly. Look, okay, Elvis Swingers. Alright, cool. Alright, we're playing Elvis Swingers now. Oh my god, I forgot my controls are fucked. I have to cartwheel with X. No, I don't want to do that, bro. Why is why is it flipped? I don't understand. Let's try that again. I have to- I don't know- I, I don't know why the controls are like this. I'm so confused. I'll try and get the- the Spongebob thing working for next stream or whatever. Hooray, I played Alpha Swing. Is you guys happy now? Okay, I don't have a GameCube controller adapter, all right? I don't have Elvis Swingers 3. I know what it is. I'm not playing it. All right, let me fix my controls real quick. That's my favorite line ever. There we go. It should be fixed now. Hold on. I gotta test it real quick. There we go. So yeah, I, I gotta fix the Spongebob mod and see if I- if it was even my doing. And yeah, that was Elvis Swingers. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm probably gonna be live tomorrow, so, uh, yeah. Um, so anyway, thanks for watching, and, um, I'll see you around, uh, goodbye.